Welcome to Seven Sided Die's Carpathian Adventure. Travel back 700 years to the early 1300s. Castles like this dot the countryside. The Hungarian Empire or Carpathian Empire is at its zenith. The nascent Ottomans are on the rise, but neither holy nor Roman nor an empire. Holy Roman Empire battles within. England and France fight one another. As the Templars recede into history, the Teutons are on the rise. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. This was a great hall. There would have been a roaring fire. It would have been adorned with Gothic windows. This might be where our adventuring party might gather. Let's meet them. From the kingdom of Aragon, I am Zyman Vall. I've ventured forth with few possessions and little coin, save an ancient tomb I searched to decipher. But I've struggled to find clues, and at times, food. While freezing in the Alps, fate crossed my path with a shining knight and the champions of the sun. Having aided me in a desperate time, they have earned my service and my friendship. Now, using my wizardry, I fight by their side. I am Balder, a Norseman, a soldier, and an eldritch knight. I left my home to leave politics behind, only to be dogged by it across Europe. I first met the Champions of the Sun outside a small town in Hungary. Together, we battled Ottoman raiders and vampires. The Champions gave me purpose again, and where it takes me, I know not, but I know I want to be a part of it. I'm Aldrich, and while I grew up an urchin in the narrow confines of Venice, I never seemed to fit in there. Except for this music box, my past is hidden to me. Now north of the Alps, I feel I'm close to home, wherever that might be. Near the Untersberg Mountain, I discovered these intrepid adventurers. Though they're blazing a dangerous path, perhaps they might help me discover who I really am. I am Borinth, the cave bear. I come from a tribe of barbarians that once lived in the mountains of the Badenweiler. While on my sacred spirit quest, my tribe and family were attacked with none left alive. I now seek the power to avenge my people. With my rage, I grow stronger. And with the champions of the sun, I seek a path to restore and preserve my people's culture and rid this world of any evil that stands in my way. I am Matthias of the House of Bathory, Knight Baron of Carpathia. With my traveling companion, Ambria, I was dragged into a whirlwind path by a rogue monk. But those I have met since then have earned my respect and, more importantly, my trust. Welcome to the Carpathian Adventure. Hello, we welcome. I'm Tom. Thank you for joining us. We're a group of gamers who get together in real life to play Dungeons and Dragons. It has been a little while. Um, a combination of Thanksgiving, my going on vacation, Reiner getting uh, sick, and the holidays. So I apologize. It's probably been about almost six weeks. Either way, welcome. Some of us are military. Others are in construction. Still others are retail managers. A few are in IT. We're parents. 
students, etc. So we did this strictly for fun. We hope you enjoy it nonetheless. There were quite a few thank yous in our open, except one, you, as everybody in the peanut gallery mimics me. We would like to thank you, our Twitch, Facebook, and Twitter followers, as well as our YouTube subscribers. Uh, thank you for joining us. If you have not already, please follow on Twitch. Please like on YouTube and Facebook, and of course, please subscribe. Subscribe on YouTube. I didn't check. Uh, I honestly don't know. Um, are we, we're we probably still hovering around 295. Yeah, around 295. Uh, somewhere around there. We just can't <laughs> seem to break that cupcake 300 <laughs> level. That said, if you do, uh, uh, during the stream, if you follow on Twitch or if you subscribe on YouTube, your username will pop up on the screen right around here. During the stream, some of us are watching Twitch. I have it on my phone in front of me. Well, I have Discord up right now. I will put Twitch on in a moment. Please comment or ask questions. While live, we will endeavor to interact if the opportunity presents itself. To all of our subscribers, thank you. What's happening in the campaign to defeat the powerful uh, vampire called Osman Ghazi? The party is building strength and collecting resources. They are outside the rubbled ruins of Schloss Kyberg in the Swiss canton of Schwyz. In exchange for an item to forge a powerful weapon to defeat Ghazi, the party fought a series of battles north of the castle and south of a town called Mortgarten. While they won every tactical encounter against the forces of Duke, Le Duke Leopold, might, some of them might have considered him a dick, but Duke <laughs> Leopold of Austria and Styria, they felt overwhelmed and retreated to the castle itself. Once ensconced, the Leopold's forces laid siege, surrounding the castle and pounding it with catapult and trebuchet stones. While under siege, Alderic the Rogue, Cartra the Cleric, and the Saxon Knight they had freed from the dungeon, Sir Nicholas Bachman, again scouted an underground passageway from the castle westward under the mountains. While crossing a huge underground cavern and gorge, Alderic and Cartra were separated and Sir Bachman slipped. Dangling from a rat line above the gorge, Sir Bachman was attacked by something from below and pulled into the depths. On the near side of the gorge, Cartra and on either side of the gorge, rather, Cartra and Aldric each heard something approaching their respective positions. Aldric fled, something chased him, but he eventually made his way outside, well west of Schloss Kyberg. On the near side of the underground gorge, Kartra stoically stood her ground. A huge beast climbed the walls from the depths and attacked her. Still, she stood her ground. Separated from the party, Kartra chose to stand and fight. And fight she did. She brutally warned, wounded the beast. But alone, it was too much. In the end, the beast got the better of her, and she went down. Back with Aldrich. Having exited the tunnel on the west side of the mountains, Aldrich turned back to the east and climbed the mountain he had just crossed under. Above ground, the siege of Schloss Kyberg continued. The castle was being relentlessly pounded by artillery stones. Under the barrage, two floors of the main keep collapsed. The upper floor of the building with the common room was destroyed, and the main gates of the house were turned into a massive mound of rubble. Sensing the hopelessness of the situation, Borinth rallied the spirits of the remaining inhabitants and inspired them to sally forth from the castle in a desperate charge. Give me a... Let's see if it works. In a, a desperate charge, <laughs> gathering their forces in a giant wedge formation, the large group of adventurers, men-at-arms, knights, villagers, and peasants climbed and crossed the rubbled gatehouse and descended to the plain below. Crossing the huge expanse to Duke Leopold's siege line, arrows and fireballs were exchanged. At the strategic moment, Mattias Bathory led a dramatic cavalry charge. With four other heavily armored knights that broke through the first enemy trench line, Wheeling slightly, his small force plowed into the second line, and a brutal melee ensued with the knights. With the separated Aldrich cresting the mountain, he climbed and, looking east, witnessed the friendly forces gathering for their attack. Crossing the crest, then slipping and sliding, he descended the mountain to join their endeavor. On the battlefield below, the enemy tried to rally. Duke Leopold was sent, and sent in what was his, to be his trump card, 
Gudznachneo, a.k.a. the Swede. Arriving on his chariot, the Swede let loose a lightning bolt. Still, Balder and Borinth charged him. Quickly overwhelmed, the Swede misty stepped around the battlefield, striking where he could. Between the party's mage, Zyman, and the enemy knight, fireballs were tossed at either side. With his own health teetering, Borinth struck a killing blow, and the Swede went down. With casualties mounting and Duke Leopold's forces defeated, he decided to negotiate. Baron von Unterhandler, the Duke, offered generous terms, and the party negotiated even better terms. The Swiss cantons would receive greater autonomy, lower taxes, and potentially a position as a prince-elector of the empire. With the battle over and Pumpkin the cat coming down the stairs, <laughs> the bloodied and battered party is making their way back to the ruins of Schloss Kyberg. Welcome back, guys. Cameras are not frozen, are they? Ooh. No! Woohoo! Technology <laughs> has not defeated us, at least not today. Um, welcome back. I'm sorry it's been so darn long. Never know what's going to work here. Okay. Knights. Knights from the opposing army gather their fallen comrades off the battlefield. You're on the battlefield out of Schloss Kyberg. In a, in a portion of the wide field, they dig a mass grave for men-at-arms. The knights are placed on carts that slowly roll toward the north and out the pass. Behind you is, is Schloss Kyberg. What are you guys doing? I'm going to uh, go around with Balder real quick because I know he's going to want to scoop up some eyeballs and he's not here right now, so okay. I don't want to miss that opportunity, I'm, I'm, but I'm going to let Georgie do a lot of the dirty work. Okay. I'm not, I may not be delicate enough with the removal of the eyeballs as <laughs> Georgie is, so I'm just going to, I'm going to hold the bag for Georgie as he... Uh, just roll 2d20. And I just tell me what the I, total number I don't want Balder to miss out. Nah, absolutely. I understand. 15. 15. You collect 15 eyeballs that are of a reasonable okay. value between you and Georgie. Nice. Okay. Okay? And just remind, tell him that when you, if, when he gets there, because I'll yeah. forget. Um, what are you guys doing? You're standing in the midst of this battlefield. You can see the enemy knights moving off. They're collecting their dead, moving them into a mass grave while you guys are going around. They kind of, ex while they don't expect eyeballs being plucked they kind of expect some pillaging that's normal on a battlefield, so they don't really, I'm going to say for right now, they don't recognize exactly what you're doing. I don't feel as though there was any, like, there wasn't necessarily a clear-cut winner, so it's not like one of these situations where I'm just going to walk around and just kind of finish that guy that's struggling and finish that guy that's struggling. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to let them care for their, their guys. And uh, I want to start rallying up some of our men that fought with us, directly with us, who charged out, and I want to, you know, rally around them a little bit and congratulate them. And uh, Hello. To, oh, Good oh, evening. hi, hey, greetings, um, happy, merry Christmas, happy New Year. Yeah, merry Christmas, happy, merry New, Christmas, Year. happy New Year. I'm stunned that it just connected well, on its I own. Can't see you. <laughs> That's creepy. Uh, okay. I can't see this this video screen. I know here. that one's turned okay. off because there's a problem with okay. it. Okay. No you want to just tap the screen for me because I can't reach it, and there's a little icon there with a camera that has a line through it. Yeah, tap that, and now we should be good to hook. How's okay. that? Um, I can see <laughs> Yeah, so I want to rally some of those troops. I want to, I want to help anyone that needs any help, um, and help them up, and gather them up, and start rallying up the troops to go back home. And I'm going to say um, to Zyman, um, we need to find Kartra. I don't. I mean, I don't remember her charging out with us. I did not. I have not seen her for. For hours, right? Me neither. I, I don't think I don't think she's on this battlefield. Do we? Do I? Do I think that we've had time to? I think you're with us. Now. Yeah, I'm with. Oh, okay. Have, have yeah. we had time to reconnect, or am I just? No, we have not. We have never. We haven't. Yeah. So talked. we're just we're just picking yeah. up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Like you're All of you, you joined us. You see them on the battlefield. You can clearly make out their force is. Uh -huh. uh, is is reasonably sized. It's not massive, but you can clearly make out. Zyman and Borin. Well, Rock you joined us when we were negotiating terms. Did I? Okay. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. okay, fine. You kind of oh, came up as we were doing that. So, so you we haven't had a thought. chance, though, to... We have not discuss. discussed Kartra. Uh, so I don't I don't remember her going into battle with us. I don't think she's going to be on this battlefield. But we need to gather up uh, some of the wounded. Maybe, and 
taking care of the villagers Maybe. At, at, the, at the keep. Well, well, you knew that we were going into the dungeons, right? I think your character knew. Yeah. I knew that you were going to take care of the villagers down in the cells and lead them further down from yeah. the cells, okay. but that's all I knew. We, uh, we were separated, Katra and I, and uh, the captive Nicholas was lost over a chasm. Oh. Devoured by some dark creature from the depths. And Kartra exited with you? How, how did you get out here? We were on opposite sides of the chasm. Kartra remained on the castle side, and I was on the outer side. So I, n- nobody <clears throat> has seen Kartra? No. I should probably find one of the um, officers for the opposition and let them know of Sir Nicholas's demise. He was a minor noble. They would probably be grateful for that information. <clears throat> Something happened when we were... Maybe you should not let them know that you lost the I would not. noble then. He died valiantly. He volunteered to come with us. I don't think it's worth... I, we negotiated some good terms here. I don't think they're expecting him to be alive at all. They may not even know him that he was even a prisoner. As far as they know, he probably died on the battlefield. But he was a noble, and he will be unaccounted for. They may There's inquire. There's going to be many men here that have been unaccounted for. I say if, I say if they ask, then maybe we can have the discussion. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't just put forward the information that he died under our care. I mean... Uh, am I, are we all there? So is Matias there? Yes. Yes, you are there. Yeah. No, do not bring it up without uh, without it first being brought up by them. Understood. You don't want to start... Uh, if, you want to, if you want to bring up such a subject, you only do so when prompted. That's the most. That's the best way to avoid it actually becoming a problem. Something How happened... Oh, sorry, go on. Go. My question is... Why were you three down there in the first place? We were attempting to evacuate the commoners through the tunnels underneath the castle. A noble effort. A noble effort, indeed. Something happened on the battlefield at one point, and it was like a divine intervention. Something happened, and... I heard the. I felt the presence of Kartra, but when Kartra was not through, there. When we came through the gates. When we came through the gates, there was a moment. There was a a, a force. I saw something. A form. And in I the felt crowd. the presence of Kartra. And at the time, I thought maybe she was with us, but I had not seen her myself. I. I don't feel good about this. I, we need to find her. We shall go and look. If she is to be found, I'm sure she is tending the wounded. Well, we have wounded here that need to be tended to, so let's 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 get them back and uh, start helping people back to the yeah the keep and go and look for her. right yeah okay. okay gonna start just rounding some people up and helping some people up. Um, but we'll start heading back towards towards the keep. Yeah, because oh. it's in great shape. <laughs> well, we have no other shelter. Yeah, it's another one place. <laughs> you gather up what wounded there you did sustain on in the battle, but they were rel- your casualties were, were all things considered relatively yeah. light. Um, and helping them hobble them along this large mass of villagers knights, men-at-arms, and yourselves slowly makes your way back towards Sloss Kyber. You climb up over the rubble. It is lightly snowing at this point, and you cross inside. The villagers instantly, their attitude, despite this, um, despite any losses they sustained, is, is actually quite jubilant at this point. They start heading toward the kitchen and breaking out food and breaking out stores that they hadn't expected to need and so forth. Um, And you're inside. It's probably by this point late morning uh, because you had 
launched your attack first thing in the morning yeah. there. Early dawn hours. Yes, mm -hmm. so it's probably late morning at this juncture. And you make your way inside. The common area is still intact. The floors above have collapsed, but the common area is still intact. They make their way inside. The kitchen is still intact. The first floor of the keep where you guys were staying is still intact. And much of the other buildings surrounding it right. are still intact. Just the gatehouse seems to have taken a pounding and the, and the two floors above the keep have taken mm -hmm. a pounding and the and the floor above the common area have taken a pounding okay. uh, reiner welcome back uh, ryan ryan <laughs> welcome back i'm sorry balder where am i where am i balder born <laughs> Uh, Georgie has 15 eyeballs for you, my yes, friend. Yes, Georgie has 15. I fucked him from some of the dead for you. I didn't want you to miss out on that opportunity. Right. In pillaging the body, as you you pillage the body of Gutsnach Neo, uh, I know you asked me to send it to you, but I just wanted to read oh, yeah, it too. Yeah, yeah. Right. You find on him a stale hunk of bread, a small whetstone, a coin purse with 174 gold pieces, 24 silver pieces, 53 copper pieces, um... Uh, a uh, four, it says ur, it means four when you read it. Four <laughs> bar tokens from an establishment in Mans called Drusus Rach. Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> a large, well, just, <laughs> a large, somewhat ornate key. Ooh. Mm. A small book, titles, I meant titles, titled Sint Olaf och Toilet Sigi. Or Saint Olaf. Something of the toilet. Huh? Something of the toilet. <laughs> or perfume. Saint Olaf and the Troll Siggy. Oh, a tiny baby. carved uh, trinket representing. Boy, my spelling was bad when I wrote this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too many glasses and wine. A, mm -hmm. a tiny, a tiny, <laughs> tiny carved ivory trinkets. Trinket representing what you suspect. Oh no, they are trinkets. Uh, trinkets representing what you suspect are a woman and two children. <laughs> a small notebook containing recipes of what you suspect are his favorite dishes and reviews of establishments he has visited on his travels. What's he, a blogger? Mm -hmm. <laughs> a letter from uh, someone named Eric Magnussen asking Gudsnachneo uh, to, ple to pledge loyalty to Eric's son. Well, I'm going to have to send a reply to that. A slightly worn letter <laughs> from what you suspect is a child based on the handwriting. It is a letter, well, it is a letter from Dilta Afsguts Nachneo in, I hope I say this right, Kuna Hala, telling him of various sundry things and asking him when he will be home. Papa. Papa. It is a rather tearful letter. The emotional baggage, I can't. Roll a wisdom <laughs> save. Monster. I have no problem with this because he was a mercenary. But he's doing his job. He died the way he wanted to die. Uh, Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> you can, of course, use inspiration. So you, 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 you feel a little tear welling up. You can hide it as you so desire. It is a tearful letter, reading it. Um, a half-written letter from what you suspect is Gudsnachneo himself to Frau Gudsnachneo, daughter of Gudsnachneo, and Forst Sun of Gudsnachneo. Get it to yourself, huh? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not COVID, I swear. It's just my poor pronunciation. Uh, and finally, a letter that says, quote, I knew, let me see, um, I knew you would be the end of me, but I'll have the last laugh after all. This victory comes with unfortunate consequences. I hope you suffer similarly. <laughs> You worm. He just carries that on, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> There's the list. It's a lot. Here's the, it's in the treasure trove. Letter from to the last letter. <laughs> and here's the story that you find. And it's written in Norse, which and you have the hammer, of course. Oh, let me okay. So, yeah, just let me know one. when you uh, what you do when you do with it. Okay. You, you have the hammer? You have the stuff for the hammer? No, oh. I don't have any paperwork. Oh, oh, okay. 
Okay. Paperwork. Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't remember him actually. Gra- he gra- did you grab the hammer? He grabbed everything oh. off the body. He told oh, me okay. He okay. He told me he did. I do. Oh, have you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> just has to... He had no fancy armor or anything. Huh? May I just say? I it was painted blue. It. I will bond with it. That it feels <laughs> very nice to have done something to help people instead of just destroying something as we normally do. I don't know how much we've we helped did. his son. Well, the but. man was a mercenary. <laughs> he died exactly the way he wanted to die. Hmm. With his boots on, on the battlefield. You think so? Exactly the way I want to go. Of course. You and These I men like this... In your faith, is it not? Men like this do not want to fade out. They don't want to fade out. You and I have very different opinions of how we want to go out. So well, yes, this, yes, is, yes. this is obvious. <laughs> you ran. Yes. We ran into battle. You ran away from battle. <laughs> I like to call it skulking. <laughs> I would still prefer to die in bed surrounded by beautiful women than on the field of battle. <sighs> no. I prefer nope. to die in bed at 90 years of age when I've become a duke. <laughs> when, you've, when you've become a drain on all of those around you. When he's become a lich. <laughs> well, I intend to stay uh, to stay relatively uh, active until into my uh, until the end of my life. But first of all, I need to actually become a duke. <laughs> okay, you make your way back into Sloss Kyberg. You're inside. You can go as you please. You but- see, you hear music coming from the common hall. Um, you you can. There's obviously a roaring fire going on in there, and you can hear people celebrating and dancing, and they seem rather upbeat, all things considered. I'm going to go in and I'm going to yell, Kartra! People turn to you. Searching all over, looking for her. Okay. Which is the way to the dungeons? Where, where, which is the way? I've never been down here. Uh, it's over where we were staying. You I can take you there if you want to. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I'll lead them down. <clears throat> okay. Before we go there, um, if we're going there, how many hit points? Let's go around the room. Hit points you have, Jess. 53. Ryan. 41. Joe, best guess. Um, give me a second. I'll come back to you. 50, 51. 51. 51. That's not my max, I'm sorry. Uh, Brian. 55. Reiner. We're in good shape. Yeah. According to my sheet, 75. 75. It's probably right. right so um, you go first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Simon, spells, look first through... Four first, one fifth. Okay, uh, Ryan? Uh, it's a pretty long list. It's a zero. Zero. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, okay. Oh, so you guys <laughs> meander through the building itself, and uh, Aldrich remembers how to get there, and he takes you down toward the, <clears throat> the opening. You're standing outside of it. You can still hear the thrumming going on upstairs. What are you guys doing? Light a torch. I'll go yeah, yeah. Front. The rest of you seem a little more battered than I am. I'm a, I'm a little worse for wear myself, but at least it looks like I can stand up and not keel over. We'll light a torch. Somebody lead the way. I'll uh, lead the way. Which way are we way. going? It's only the dungeon. Okay, well, take us to where you last saw Kartra. Okay. So we have to go down to the dungeon. Like As we go through, if there's any people <laughs> that are it down there that are being mended to or taken care of, I'm going to just kind of look around. I'm going to keep calling out. Uh, looking for Kartra. Do I recognize any of the guards uh, hanging out in the dungeon? There's no guards hanging out in the dungeon at the moment. Okay. Everybody's out of the dungeon. Right. It's over. <laughs> Do I see any any commoners huddled down there or anything? Not downstairs, no. Okay. They've all come back up. Yes. Mm-hmm. So it's empty. I'm going to lead them over to that door that was previously sealed up that we had unsealed. Right. It wasn't a door anymore. It was more like Passage. they had blocked it up yeah. with rocks and stones right. and mortar. Not a very thorough job. I mean, just enough to slow down Well, we had cleared that coming. to get through. Yes, yes, yes you had. Yeah. I'm just trying to describe what yeah. it was. And then, so now it's just kind of a, a passage that you kind of have to okay. duck down to get through into this dark passage. <coughs> so you, every what's a, just put him in a marching order there, if you would. Be in front with, with Alderic directly behind me. And your smelly horse? I, I'd imagine he's not on his, not in his horse. No, I'm not on my horse. His, his, his other guys dungeon. right next to him. If you want to take him on his horse? Yeah, I think his figures. So right I mean, you want to be in the middle? Sure. Is that safest for you? Nothing's safe for me. Sorry, Balder, you're in the rear. Everything's safe. For me. How many uh, fire spells do you have? 
Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, wait, one. I can upcast it to fifth level. <laughs> you may have to. <laughs> Got news for you. Yeah, let's just oh, throw out some... Sorry, Tom. Some terrain. No, it's all good. It's, hey, guys. Try never to take away your agency there, dude. I mean, it's, all, it's all good. Brian went and ruined it again. No, I... <laughs> we knew this was yeah, going to have to happen. There we go. At least I'm there looking for Gotcha. And then we got to hightail it and get catch up with your cart before those <laughs> Hulians sell everything. If it's not already like just pile your guys like in this this corridor fire. here, just to kind of we have some idea <laughs> what everything looks like. It's got low jack. We'll like, right. That was our card. <laughs> okay, Alderic, you have been in here before. I think you're the only one of this group. I think Z Zion, nope, you didn't see any part of this? I've never been down Baldur's there. has been down here with Kartra. And <clears throat> into the caverns? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. They stopped at the that thing that shot rope. Like, and that thing that shot like laser beam at you. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Yep, I know where you were. Where you went, went to. Okay, you venture into this. Go ahead. You venture into this entrance. It is dark. It is a rough-hewn... Uh, cavern. It looks like there have been some areas that have been chiseled away by by people to try and make it more easily mm -hmm. tra traversed. But it is not a uh, finely carved Ruff, hallway. Hewn. A, not a finely <laughs> carved hallway inside of a uh, inside of a castle or something like that. It it, it kind of cuts back and forth and back and forth for a uh, hundred. 200-ish feet, kind of hard to tell in the dark, and it goes up and down. And eventually you come to a four-way intersection. You're at the four-way intersection. Wait, you can go way? right, left, or straight ahead. I think the... You have gone all straight. three directions. It was right. The direction that, that so Carter and I ended up in, was, was it straight at first? Uh, roll a, an intelligence check with advantage. <laughs> And then two lefts and a right. That's a nine. You're not sure. Mm -hmm. Guys? You're like, uh, not sure. Oh, <laughs> draw, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Down the left one. Uh, I'm going to say left, actually. Okay. I think it's left. You turn left, and it, there, it goes and it bends, and it, and it continues on for about 100 feet. Then it makes a pretty hard turn to the left and it goes on for probably another 50 to 75 feet and then it opens up into a small room that appears to have been an armory at one point. Um, there's rusted weapons and tools and mining tools and some small carts piled around in this, this way area. you lost her? No. Nope. Remember correctly, this way doesn't go anywhere but Oops, here. Yeah. So you were going to lead people through this place and you don't know your way through it. <laughs> Kartra was a dwarf. She had the, the <laughs> geography of this place. Okay. That's true. Let's go. We, we're, we're wasting time here. Okay. So we'll go back the other way. Okay, <clears throat> so you turn around and you head back out. And you go, and it, this time it bends back to, instead of bending to the right, it bends back to the left. And you're back at the four-way intersection. You're pretty sure that the area immediately to your right is where you just came from. So you could go to what is yeah. now your left, which would have been straight, or you can go... Straight, which would have been a right, if that makes sense. Kartra! I think we have to go what would have been straight. But. <clears throat> what well, your guess is clearly as good as my guess. I stop and listen? I'm just going to stop and listen. See if I hear anything. I don't think. If I remember, straight's listen. not the right way. I'm just going to listen. Or you don't hear Do anything. I hear anything? Nothing? Uh, hold on. Uh, okay. Can you stop and uh, listen? Um, give, give me an investigation check. You're listening ever so quietly in the depths of this dungeon. What are you guys using for light sources? I have a torch. Okay. I lit, 13. I lit a torch as well. 13. Every once in a while you hear the sound of, of rocks falling in the distance and maybe a uh, and maybe some 
Can I tell which 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 hall which tunnel that would be coming from? It echoes up and back, back and down the hallways in, in every which direction. Come on, you gotta guide us here. <laughs> well, let's just. Aldrich, I'm, pretty, we're, sure, we're on I'm you. pretty sure the way out was straight across. I think it was a straight. Or what would have been right. Yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll go try that way. Because I thought. Okay. If I Weapons remember correctly, out. last time we were down here, straight led to like some kind of mm-hmm. alcove that got tighter and tighter, and you couldn't really get out. All right, weapons out. I'm taking my weapon out. I'm ready. I'll okay. Uh, you continue straight. What is straight across right now, which would have been a right as you immediately turn into the uh, correct into the dungeon. Uh, you continue across, and it undulates up and down, and kind of bends back and forth. It goes a little bit further than before. Balder, you recognize, I mean, to the extent that in the pure, utter darkness, <laughs> you can remember a, a dungeon. The little oh, yes. bits of it are coming back one. to you. And uh, eventually, after traversing uh, probably around 300 feet, you come to a T intersection. You can either go right or left. Looking off to the right, roll an investigation check, Balder. 19. Oh, you look off and you see this ever so faint glow coming from down the hallway, and you seem to recall <laughs> this crystal structure down in that direction that you had encountered once before. I'll ask, did you guys pass anything? Do you guys pass a crystal like structure? No, the crystal thing is what, what attacked us when we when we went there that time. Yeah. We avoided that the second time. Okay. We so we you guys <coughs> went last. This crystal you speak yeah, what is this crystal thing that attacked you? It seems it's very interesting. Maybe we should get... Might have been a After little... we find Carter, we'll have okay. to investigate. How many hit points did it take you? A lot. <laughs> yeah. It was like it attacked you. It, it was, hurt you. Yeah, it was very. It was a tri- it definitely well, a triggered. Trap it didn't attack. Just don't touch it. Even more interesting, it definitely needs. Investigation. Just don't touch it. Just don't touch it. Whatever you do, but so, I'm pretty sure, like you said, yeah. you guys were wise enough to not go that way. So the left, <laughs> left then. Yeah. Back to the thing. Okay. So, okay. I so think that's right. You you felt the need to touch it. <laughs> okay. It was okay. like forty-eight. So, we're make a left. <laughs> so you turn left. <clears throat> The, the tunnel takes a huge dip down, um, and then uh, it kind of winds back and forth, and it's the same kind of structure that you've been in throughout, and then it starts to rise, gently rise back up again, and probably traverse about another 300-ish or so feet, and eventually you come to another four-way intersection. You probably remember being, this four-way intersection looks slightly familiar, but you don't think you had gone past this point. Do you know which way you turn now? No. Nope. You could either go right, left, or straight. Or, of course, back. Can I stop and listen again? Sure, go anything, ahead. Anything louder? The whole experience is very traumatic. I'm trying to forget it. <laughs> One. <laughs> um, you hear skittering and, and clawing, but nothing strikes you as, you know, that's, this is X or Y. Uh, I'll reach down on the ground and pick up a stone and cast the light on it and hand it to Florence and throw it down one of the hallways. See if you see anything. Throw it straight. <laughs> throw it straight. I'll throw it straight right down the hallway to the, right, right straight ahead of us. Yeah. We'll okay. Do it, do it three times. See what, you see, we'll see what we see each time. Okay, you just toss it down. It, it kind of off to the right, let's just say for the sake of argument, it goes, this tunnel kind of bends back and yeah, forth and undulates up and down. Uh-huh. And it, it, you, it, you get a sense that it goes into a large room of some kind off in that direction. Uh, to what would be the equivalent of going straight, mm-hmm. you, you toss another pebble lit down that direction and the tunnel itself, it kind of bounces off of a wall and then teeters off to what would be the right, off to the right, um, as the tunnel going ahead of you seems to go, seems to go about 50 or so feet, and then bend to the right, if you will. Mm-hmm. Off to the left-hand side, you toss one down there, and you can see very quickly it bends, the, the tunnel kind of descends, takes a rapid descent, and bends what would be to the right, and then it appears as though it's almost bending back to the left again very, very quickly. Does any of this look familiar? I don't think it is the one that that deep dives down because we were, 
at the precipice of, of, a, of a chasm beneath the ground. So clearly we were not lower. So I don't think that is the way. Um, so a straight would be... Well, it looks like a big open cavity, like a big open space to the front of us, right? Uh, there was... <clears throat> oh, to looks the right like of us. a room to the That was right. to the right of us. So we... Straight? If we go to the right? Check it out. Maybe she has... I don't know. She may have ended up there and had be taking a rest. <clears throat> Let's go to the right. Okay. We're going to start somewhere. Does anything smell like dwarf to us? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> okay. You turn to the right, what would be to the right, and it goes... Slowly. Stealth, stealthily. Okay, stealthily. Yeah. And, and Mattias is up in the front, just yeah. squinting as best he can. <laughs> clank, 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 clank. Moving forward, and the, the tunnel kind of winds back and forth, but it's fairly straight and reasonably level, as reasonably level an underground tunnel can be. And it seems to open up into a large room, probably 75 feet by 75 feet, and you see it filled with what appear to be mining supplies inside. Uh, scanning the room, you don't see any creatures or anything in there. Gotcha. There appear to be two tunnels going off of it. One going off to the left, uh, going off to the left, your left, and going off to your right. And uh, each of them appear to be partially blocked by rubble. That doesn't look like somebody tried to block it. It looks like it just kind of collapsed on itself. I hold the torch out. I'm just going to Have you ever been in this room? I don't believe I've ever been, ever been in this room. All right, let's go back. We're, we're well, running out of time. Right. Right. That means this is where the treasure is. We're looking for Carter. What treasure? Yeah. There's a rumored treasure down here. Is it really? Yes. yes Maybe it's that was the that crystal. You crystal see. that tried to kill you. Yeah. Let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> we'll go back to that, like that previous <laughs> intersection. Okay. You turn around and go back to the four-way intersection that you're at. To the to the left is the way you came We're in. Make a right. We're gonna make, make a right. You make a right. Make a right. <laughs> okay. You make a right very quickly. Paint on the wall. Very quickly. The, the, I'm going to take some of my blood and <laughs> smear it on the wall so we know which way we came from. Okay. Very quickly, the, the hallway starts to turn to the left. And it keeps turning to the left. And it is uh, ever so slightly ascending. Not like rapidly, but ever so slightly ascending. You go about 75 feet and you eventually come to an area where there's a tunnel coming in off the off the your um so off <laughs> off your left hand side or you can continue straight the main path looks like it continues straight did, did you come through here I don't, I don't think so okay so we're going back to the start back to the previous intersection and i'm going to make a right now <laughs> Okay, you're at this one. I don't know what else to do. I've just never been in here, and nobody's it. leading yeah, us through here. Just don't take your left hand off the left wall. We'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go backwards, and we're going to make a right. I'm listening. Is it red right returning? <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to head down that, that path. Red right returning. I love it. <laughs> Very nautical or aviation, depending on how you look at it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, as you're turning around and starting to head back, uh, just... Uh, throw. Wait, see. Uh huh. What's? Uh, no, I'm just. Uh, I'm laughing at us running through, through throw these this tunnels. at the back. Of, are you turning around and reversing your order, or are you just throw no, it at the end? No, we're reversing. Or we're going. Okay. Okay. The same so this way is... we. We're, we're heading back down the same way we were. Okay. Been good. Does okay. Does anyone have one of those magical rocks we can just talk through? Okay. <laughs> throw these guys at the back of Balder, please. Oh, Balder, at the back of you, you hear these growls coming at you. <laughs> Roll initiative, sir. Is that enough? Is that enough, Tom? Really? Really? Is that enough for me? I don't know. How many are there? <laughs> Five? No, it's not enough anymore. Six? I can't even fit them all in the tunnel. Uh, okay, that's good. Here, hand me the last one. I'll, it'll be reserved. <laughs> and about this one that you turned to? <laughs> Here, hand me that one. Sure. Reserved. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, while the music comes back up, uh, initiative. The bad guys have a... Yeah, I got a five. A, uh, where is it here, Tom? Uh, it's five. I got a five. Uh, too busy what are they? About that crystal. Plus three. They got a 12. The bad guys have a 12. <laughs> I want that crystal. That crystal. I have a 15. I have a 15 also. It's 15. like the lowest initiative. Mattias, what do you got? Initiative. 
I got a 16. You're muted. What are you looking for your dice in your pocket? What's going on here? <laughs> dice in your pocket. Still muted. Is that dice in your pocket? Were you happy to play D&D? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Still muted. And these balls are got initiative on them. That's good. <laughs> these things are going to take an hour and a half to kill. And this is where we all die. This is where we all die. Right here in this alley. Right this in this thanks. Freaking cave. 19. 19. Oh. 19. Nice for Matt. Well, I mean... Too bad he's all the way in the piece. back. Come on! <laughs> You guys have only been down here two times, one time. Nobody knows where you're going. You better at least find the treasure. <laughs> okay. Avenge my death. I want that crystal. I expected, like, yeah, I know where we went. Okay, uh, who's up? Mattias, you are up. You are way far away from them. Um, in tight okay. quarters. In tight quarters. Tight. I, well, so, okay, so in give us... Is it like this? Is it yes? Single file. Right now it is. Yeah. There's no like that's how wide the tunnel is. It's single file. You, you could probably get where Boulder is. You could probably squeeze one more person. Zyman could jump out there if you okay. wanted. <laughs> you can go through friendly player. I, actually, you can pass through friendly players' uh, positions. So, Mattias, if you wanted to plow through the friendly players' positions, you, you could turn and. And do so. You hear battle coming from your rear. Oh, definitely. Okay, so you turn. It's just call it difficult terrain. So you get um, <laughs> instead of six inches, you get three inches. You're probably up near Zyman at this point. Just move him up towards okay. Zyman. Uh, okay. If you will. I'll try. Okay. Yeah. And then um, anyone who's yeah, just push me back a little. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Okay, so you're not quite in combat range yet. Or you could dash forward. You won't get an attack, but you can dash. I will. Okay, you dash forward. He's right up next to one of them, I guess. Which isn't very far. Okay. Okay, that's Mattias. Boulder, you are up. You've got one right in front of you, it looks like. Attack it. Attack! Stupid rock dogs. 26. 26 hits your hammer. That's without, that's your new hammer too, correct? Uh, yes, I'm sure assuming so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's, that just tell there. me what it is uh, before any bonuses does, and then, yep, I understand. So we've got, I need another one. Okay, so we got, you know, so seven plus the five is 13. Then the green flame did another seven. Is this a two-handed hammer? Is it a one-handed hammer? It's one-handed. Yeah, right. One oh, okay. I didn't know what his hammer was. And then another one leaps off and does. Uh, it looks like uh, that. Ooh, that's fancy. That's kind of fancy. So yeah, so seven, five, seven, so fourteen and nineteen. Nineteen to him with no anything else, and then thirteen to the one right next to him. Okay. The green flame blade. <laughs> They're still up. That is Boulder. Anything else, Boulder? Attack again. Attack. You think 26. A 26 hits. 27 hits. And that is another 5, 6, 7 damage. 7 more to the first one, I'm assuming, correct? Yeah. And then attack again with the 17. And 17 does not hit. Ah. You hear your hammer. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. 17 is what you roll with the, your, your current bonuses? Yeah. Yes, it does connect. Ooh. It just seems to shimmer with a blue light as you Ooh, slam nice. into it. Oh, I like this hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so another 11. Uh... <laughs> yes. Anything else, sir? That's it. That's it. Ba that is uh, actually, Balder. I'll heal. I do have a bonus action to do that. Okay. And that's it for me. Okay, understood. Um, and um, Aldrich, you are up. <laughs> Can I 10, right? step out? <laughs> yeah. Do that's I have a, a shot with, at the crossbow uh, at one of them? Well, 12 points is better. Is Mat right. Matthias uh, in the way? Sure. So you can, if you go up next to Matthias, just slightly behind him, you could uh, you could get a, a, a shot. Does that make sense? To his right hand well, side, right there, I mean, you could get a shot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Twelve. 
12. <laughs> it, it chinks off of a piece of rock. And as it hits it, it chinks off of the piece of the rock of the beast. Retreat. Retreat! Okay. Anything else, Aldrich? <clears throat> Not a thing. Vorinth, you are up. Um. Am I able, am I going to be able to get through everyone to get up there or not? Yeah, you could get where um, Aldrich was and be attacking either one of those two right there. Okay, uh, I'm going to say Aldrich, you got to watch you got to watch the rear behind us here, and I'm going to move up right into here. If there's a rear worth watching, and I'm it's... going to rage. Rage. And then I will take my first attack. Uh, I'm going to. Are there two there? Would I be able to swing through, or should I? Uh, can I only hit one at a time? I, I it's totally I, I'm gonna your say theater of the mind. Just, just one, one right. because it's it's like Mattias is in the I'm way. Gonna, right, I'm gonna use my hammer. I'm gonna try to. You can stri- it's almost like you're striking yeah. vertically down on it in order to get at it. Uh, that's 19, 20, 21 to hit. Twenty one hits. And then I'll take my second attack. Twenty three to hit. A twenty three hits. Okay, first damage. 13, 14, 14 points of damage. 14 more to Baldur's 13. And Eight. then the second attack is 17 points of damage. 17 more to 27. And then, uh, do I have any more movement? Um, I, pro- pro- I mean, I probably, yeah, pro- I mean, I, I can mean, move 40 and I probably. Terrain, so I'm going to say it's pretty close. What are you trying to do? Uh, come back. Into this spot. Gotta get an attack of opportunity on you as you pull oh, away. Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, no, 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 the answer is. Okay, you can probably back up some. It's but... fine, I'll stay. I'll okay. stay. I'm just worried about the our our rear. I understand. I understand. I got it covered. And Simon and Aldrich have it covered. <laughs> okay, I think the opponents are up. Uh, there's two there right in front. One is going to go after one, two, three, Mattias, four, five, six, Balder. And it goes after one, two, Mattias, striking away. And what is it? Uh, do I get to attack it? Uh, As a sentinel? Did, are you, you tell me. I, I, I so. don't. Excuse my ignorance. Whenever I, creatures within, within reach makes an attack against another target, you can an opportunity. Sure. Yeah. Go for it. And, okay. Does he. Do you want. Go for it. 25? 25 hits. <laughs> Shimmers with a slight bluish color. And then just another six damage. Six more. Hey, every little bit helps. Yeah. Okay, it's still up. The the attacks on on Mattias. Uh, Critical card, please. And two hits. One is a miss. Not a horrendous miss, but not a great hit. Double damage. This you feel this claws bite into you, and you take. uh, I hit his claws into Mattias. Cause more damage. <laughs> you take uh, 31 points of piercing damage, and um, from the teeth as they bite into you, roll a DC 15 strength save. And then you take another, uh, on top of that 31, you take another, you take another um, 12 points of slashing damage from one of the claws. And the one behind on, uh, uh, he only has, no, push that one up toward, uh, um, which one? Uh, the one that's, yeah, somewhere? that one back there. Push him to, uh, so he's up in between well, Mattias that's a, and, well, that's a dirty 20. Okay, so he's going to one, two, three, Mattias, four, five, six. He goes for Borinth. And Borinth, this one there, okay, so save. You were not not uh-huh. prone. On Borinth, one, dirty, a natural 20. Critical card, a. I'm pretty sure a 12 does not no, no, hit you, no, correct? No, 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 and the other no, no, one's a 19, that does, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay, I don't know where the ouch! Is. I can't find it. Ouch! Uh-oh. Not a good card. Ouch! Okay, um, this teeth gnash into you. And, many, and it just kind of tears into your legs as it rips into your body. You take, um, uh, you are raging. Uh, you take uh, 27 halved, uh, um, 13 points of 
uh, piercing damage roll. A strength save should be easy for you to avoid being knocked prone. And you take... Um, 23? Uh, strength save is 23? Yep. And, okay, you are not knocked prone. And you take another 14 divided by 2 of slashing damage. So you take 7 more points of slashing damage. It rips into your leg as it bites, and it seems to hold on and tear at you, and it rips a chunk out of your leg. It just You see a huge hunk of flesh get ripped from your body. You are crippled. I'm right behind us we all. We definitely didn't right. come this way before. <laughs> uh, here, just keep Thanks. this out. Future attacks <laughs> against you have advantage, and it just tells you how you get rid of it. Which is okay. <laughs> Okay, and that is the opponent. Simon, you are up. Fireball? Uh, I guess I'll just try to uh, throw a firebolt. A firebolt! Through the, through the crab. Uh, 22. A 22! If I could make the sound effect, I would. There, it's close enough. 13 points of fire 13 damage. of which one? The one uh, closest? Whichever one's in front. Okay, 13 more, the one, okay. Okay, it's still up, but he he looks like he's starting to be hurt. Okay, that is Zyman. Zyman, Mattias, you are up. You have one right in front of you. Mattias is feeling very pissed off by that little, by that little jerk, so he's going to take a swing. He's not little. <laughs> He's, not he's this giant stone wolf that's chewing away at your cohort. Still a jerk. Or not him. The other one's chewing away at your cohort. Well, um, with, with that down, uh, I'm going to my two hit is 17 plus 5 plus 3. You hit! Uh, <laughs> your, your sword catches in between several of the stone body parts and plus you can feel it four. like splitting off. Okay, and then, okay. Um, that's uh, 11 damage. Okay. My next attack uh, is a 15 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3. That's a 26. That's a hit. And the damage there is 5. Ouch. How's that even possible? But okay. Uh, well, no, wait. Look, I, I forgot to add. I, I add another five to that. Add another five to my first attack's damage. Okay. And then um, plus plus thirty-two so to hit. Damage plus, damage hit. To first attack. plus how much more? Ten. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, total of ten. Okay, got it. Okay, I was gonna say I don't even know if that's possible. Only five damage for you at this point. Yeah. Would you do roll a one? Even if you rolled a one, I don't think you can get. What are your bonuses on your weapon? Um, it gets a plus three to all damage at all attack. Okay, but you've also got a strength of plus five. Yeah, so you've got strength. A, you've yeah, got plus a plus eight. Plus yes. eight. So even if you rolled a one, you would do nine points of damage. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ro that's why that's oh, okay. plus three plus five okay. is uh, ten. Okay. And then the first one was an eight plus three math? plus five, so that's sixteen. So sixteen. So got it. Twenty-six. I'm tracking. I got college. it. So I got it now. Okay. Anything else, Paul? Se and my second and my third attack. Oh yeah, yeah. Just roll them all at once. Uh, <laughs> uh, Too many fighters with three attacks now. He's got to like crank it out. Twenty-two. <laughs> Twenty-two hits. And then for damage. Um, five plus five plus three, 13 damage. 13. Oh, he's hanging on. Not, not, he's teetering. Anything else, Mattias? Six of them. No, nope, that'll be it. Okay. <laughs> okay, Boulder, you are up. Three attacks again. I'm up. Yes, sir. I still got the guy in front of me. Followed by Aldrin, mm -hmm. then Boris, then right. Apollo. Is that the one that's Oops. attached to me or no? No, the one to the uh, okay. your eighteen, closest. I think, hits. Right? Eighteen definitely mm -hmm. hits. Oh, your okay. hammer okay. slams into it. So that's going to be seven, eight, nine, fourteen damage to him. And, and psh, the hammer crushes it, and he and just collapses uh, in this pile of stone. And then twelve damage to the one that's right next to him. Oh, okay. And then we'll hit him again. Well, 
Well, the one you just crushed the first one. You turned to well, the I'll other one, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you turned to the that other one. one. That one's not going to hit. That's an 11. And we got a 27. A 27. Your hammer slams into it. Bits of stone go flying off of it. All right. And then that's 11 damage. And 11 more to this wounded one. Anything else, Balder? That's my three effects. Alderic, you are up, followed by Borinth. Um, I have no fancy try. tricks left up my sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> Just three attacks. <clears throat> try again with the crossbow. Yeah, it's gonna be a disadvantage though. Okay. I mean, you're trying to shoot in between this swirling <clears throat> melee there. Okay. You don't do stabby stabby. Stab stab. <laughs> I don't think my stab's gonna work on a stone. Uh... It's Dungeons and Dragons, and I have to work on stone. <laughs> <laughs> it's stone skin. <laughs> it's not actual stone. Stone skin. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I got that spell. Yeah, it's the same thing. Nine plus nine, 18? 18! Hey. The bolt slams right. into it, finding damage. All right, so that's going to be a D8. It's going to be nine plus 19, 21, 22, 25 points of damage. 25 points of damage. <laughs> Anything else, sir? Oh, no, he's back. barely standing. <laughs> this is my spot. Hand, stabby, stab. <laughs> he's barely standing. This thing is like hovering there. Anything else, Alderic? Nope. That's Alderic. Borinth, you are up. Soften them All up right. for you. I'm just going to take my hammer, double mm -hmm. and smash it down <laughs> on his head. Smash it down on his head. <laughs> All right. Uh, 16, 16, 19 hit? 19 hits! Oof, Your hammer so. slams into all it. Right, I'll take my second attack to all that. Uh, 26, 26, 28 to hit. <laughs> so, no, it misses. Of course it does. What was that? How'd you fall down a well? 16, 17 points of damage. 17! <laughs> <laughs> this thing collapses in a pile of stone in front of you. Okay. Um... I can't move. Is there another one within range now, right? Oh, there's one uh, behind that one, I guess. Just, okay. They're just oh. trying to tell us they're going the wrong way. They want I, us to show us where to go. Yeah. <laughs> that one's down. Um, maybe move I can't move. Coming, I can't move. I can't move. From where we're going back to. I'm stuck yeah. where I'm at. We have to go back. That's boring. This round. Opponents, charge we those two forward. Around. One mm -hmm. at, uh, just, yeah, leave them there. Push the other one up in between them there. Okay, so uh, first one, one to, goes at... Uh, Balder, I guess, because it's right in front of him. Balder, uh, that's a miss. A uh, 21 misses, correct? Hits. Oh, it hits. 21 and a 20. The 20 misses. Okay, the bite comes into you. Wow. Um, and lousy roll uh, for only eight points of damage. That's a good roll. That's a <laughs> lousy roll for them. And roll a strength save, DC 15. Right. And the other one, one, two, three, Mattias, four, five, six, okay. uh, Borinth. It goes on Mattias. And Mattias is claw, claw, boom, dirty 20, uh, correction, natural 20. Bad guys are rolling hot here tonight. Okay, maximum damage. This, the teeth dig into your leg, Mattias, even through your armor and just plows into it. And you take uh, uh, 16 points Sweet of. Sweet merciful effusions of, of Tang Grease, blessed King <laughs> 16 points of damage. You lose 10 ah! feet off, off your movement until you get a cure wounds or I'm similar sorry. spell. Dude, I can't Ten feet off your movement. I can't and, carry uh, you guys roll, out of here. Roll a strength, <laughs> strength DC eight. 15 strength save. <laughs> I can't carry you. So I have one spell slot. Uh, I have yes, problems. and you lost. Uh, and you um, <laughs> you lost it. 10 feet off movement, <laughs> and you need I to make a DC me. 15 strength save. <laughs> I have a pouch of a giant red cross on it. You're probably. Okay, so you're good. So you're still standing. Your leg is in pain. Um, that is the opponent's. Zyman, you are up. Cure Wounds is technically above these, right? Oh, I have this one. Huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll take a shot from back here. With my spell sniper ability, I should be able to lace one through Okay, I'm just... Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say you got disadvantage. It's just like this swirling melee. But yes, okay. you can go ahead and shoot. Uh, 
an 11. Oh, 11. <laughs> it bounces oh, off. It hits, oh. but it bounces off one of the rocks and ricochets off oh, into some direction. Minutes, anything else, Simon? Uh, I don't hear anything coming from no, the other end. No, not at this moment. Okay, no. okay that is it, Simon. <laughs> Mattias, you are up. You've got one right in front of you that is just gnawed away at your leg, and the previous one that was standing there gnawed away at Boren's leg. Who made this choice? The other two syllable B word. Well, I think I need to deal with the one in front of me first. Yes, indeed. It's me and forcing me to stay in place. Yes, indeed. So, first attack. Uh, 11 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3, that's, uh, 17 plus 5 plus 3 plus 3, that's 28 to hit. 28 hits! Just roll all three hits at once, and, uh, rolls to hit. And my other two are a, um, let's see, a 12 plus 3 plus 3, so 15 plus 11 and 13 plus Both are hits. Both are hits. All three hits three times. Okay. Your and sword then, slashing sword away. Damage, um, combined. Um, so that so there's uh, plus fifteen from my strength, and plus three from the sword. So that's twenty-four plus six is thirty. Plus five is thirty-five. Plus seven is forty-two. Forty-two. 42 points of damage, holy crumb. Carry the three. Okay, Whoa. that should be it, Mattias, correct? Did he, did he, did he yeah. crit? No. No, no, no. no. Just three no, attacks. Three attack. Oh, okay. 42. 42. I guess that's really not that much. 42, yeah. yeah. So, okay, that's Mattias. Boulder, you are up. You've got right. the one right in front of you. Let's get him. Yeah, get him done. 24. 24 hits. With, ooh, whoa. Uh, 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 hits! No, it was a damage. Oh, 20. It's okay. It's, okay. And is there one next to that one? Yes, there is. There is. And that one is. The one that four, Mattias five, six, attacked. Seven. That one's 15 to that one. 15 more to that one. It's, then I attack the one in front of me again for a 21. Nope. We're just. He's attacking the one, the one you were on. 5, 6, 7. 17? 17. Oh, wait. It, 17 hits? almost felt like it didn't hit, but then your hammer shimmers slightly and <laughs> you see bits of stone go flying off. Yeah. Yes. And then another it. six. Another so seven six. and seven for the second one, six for the third one. Okay. Uh, I, I'm tracking that. Uh, okay. Ooh. Okay, number two, the one closest to Maddie's is not looking good at all. Anything else, Balder? Alderic, you are up, followed by Boren. Um, and this chaotic melee in here. You don't hear anything coming from the rear. I'm just going right to go there. past Zyman. Okay. And just peer around the corner. You go, you make, make your end. way down the corridor, and that's... I have the rear shoot arrows! <laughs> you are the rogue! <laughs> you go back, and that's the way you came from. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, up here would be the, the four-way intersection, and then it would... This way would be the way you came from. I just want to hold up my torch and see there's nothing there. Toward me, you don't see anything. Okay. And this looks like the way you just came from. I think he's running away again! <laughs> Shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> Deserters will be shot on sight! <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come back and... Okay. And that's, I guess that's my action. Okay, good. Borinth, you are up, followed by the opponents. All right, I'm going to smash the one that uh, is, I guess, in... That they're that they've been chipping away at. Okay. While I'm down. On the well, there's one right in front of Mattias and you, and there's one in front of kind of more in front of uh, of of Balder, and the one in front of Mattias and you is more wounded. Okay, that's the one I'm gonna hit. 21 to hit. 21 hit. <laughs> uh, and I'll take my second attack. Yes. Just. Why not? Why not? Oh, natural 20. Natural 20, critical. Your okay. hand is your triple quadruple damage. <laughs> Maximum damage here. body. DC 10 con for extra damage. Uh, okay, so what is my maximum damage? What? It is 12, 22, 24. 
So my maximum damage is 24, and then a, a, because of Brutal Critical, and with an extra 8. 32. So 30, 30 points of damage, right? 30, 32. 32 points of damage. Um, and then a DC 10 con. Well, DC 10 con is your hammer slams into it and then easily rah, looks up at you and growls at you as it easily makes its con save. Okay. Uh, so that Total damage was between the first one and two. Oh, I got to do the damage for the other one. My bad. Oh, that's good. Um, 21, 22, another 23. 23, so what the total was? Uh, 32 and 23, 40, 50, 50 55. Oh, it just it explodes. Your second <laughs> hammer comes down on it. It growls at you, and it seems to connect with its mouth as it's open, growling, and it just slams, and its head explodes and collapses so in front of you. 10 plus 7, then plus my 6. <laughs> Anything plus else, Borinth? 12. Uh, no, that's it. Okay, Borinth, the opponents, the one move. in front of... I can't move, guys. I can't feel my legs. Boulder, <laughs> it's got three targets. One, two, got Boulder. Uh, goes after Mattias. Mattias. He's gonna bite you and natural one crit uh, fumble card and Yay. I don't think a I don't think a <laughs> ten or a thirteen will hit. No, uh, entangled. He reaches up in between the lot of you. He's he kind of gets his leg caught in one of the rocks. How he does that I don't know. Uh, he has a DC fifteen deck save. He has to make natural twenty. He makes that and. Uh, uh, he's entangled. He's, uh, he made that. Oh, that would make his movement zero. Um, he's not entangled, though. Nothing happens. But that ends his attack. That ends his attack. That is the opponent. Zyman, you are up. Uh, I will fire another fireball. <laughs> 22. 22 hits. That was with disadvantage, right? Uh, well, my spell sniper lets me ignore oh. three, uh, half and three quarter cup. Okay, sure. Okay. Uh, 13 points of damage. Ooh, he, okay. 13 points of damage. He's still up. <laughs> Anything that, else? No, Zyman. that's it for me. Zyman, that is Zyman. Nice. Okay, Mattias, you are up. You have this one in front of you. Three attacks. Roll all three. Finish him. Finish him. Finish him. And then maybe we can get out of this tunnel. Maybe. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> I think we went the wrong way. Well, okay. And can Georgie smell out? My right three rolls are. Maybe I've been smelling a dwarf before. Maybe Georgie can just find it. 11, 16, and 5. They all hit. Oh, oh no. 5? It's not like a yeah. Yeah. The 5 misses. Yeah. The other 3 he's hit. The other 2 hit. Like that. Okay, so really those both like do... The one does 6 damage, <laughs> one does 8, so plus 10, plus 6. Um, 14 plus 6 is 20, plus 10, 30 damage. 30 points of Where's damage. Okay, bonuses? it's still up. What are the bonuses, man? <laughs> it's still up. <laughs> okay. That's, that's about 15 for hit. That's actually <laughs> kind of low. I need a yeah. magic weapon. Uh, okay. A oh, die, you creature! Okay, <laughs> Mattias, Boulder, you are up. I can learn that spell. <laughs> Boulder. <laughs> Let me see if I can give it a try. <laughs> that hammer better step it up. <laughs> 21. We orphaned a child for that thing. 21, <laughs> 8, plus 5... You tried yelling lightning? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's 13. Yelp okay, Avada Kadav. So 17 to him. <laughs> 17 <laughs> points, he's still up. And There's just not him another now, one right? there. It's just Correct. Him. Whoa, 17. Nobody knows. 17 style. hits. Your yeah. hammer shimmers blue as you Nine connect damage. again. Nine more points of damage. And 20. 20 hits. E, six damage. Six damage. Oh, he is just. Barely hanging on. Literally, lowest I can roll. Okay, that's, that's Balder. Alderic, you are up. I only get a plus five. <laughs> I'm gonna come running up. I'm to roll a and I shimmy past Matthias. <laughs> okay, you do. I've been forgetting to roll. And a with the rapier, I come running in. 
That's two extra demons. I'm not rolling the third one. <laughs> one like Natural 20. 20. Natural nice. 20. Pull a critical card, sir. Oh, because you're on 11 now. Yeah. <laughs> Double damage <laughs> arm. Oh, the its arm reaches control. out to you and you pierce him where there's... It pierces the arm with the rapier as, he, as he's reaching out to claw at you. Damage by a weapon or spell multiplied by two plus any damage modifiers for the attack. Slate saving throw... DC 15 strength or drop item. You're not carrying He doesn't item. have any items. Effect. If the he target fails at saving throw, it drops any weapon. If the target does not have anything in its hand or does not have a hand, then it takes double damage with no other effect. Double damage. So here is the nice max damage there. That's 13. Oh, wow. Plus. Oh, now you've done it. <laughs> That's not complete. So Whoa. Just dice and 15. The Whoa. Plus. <laughs> four, 19. 19 plus 13. Whoa. 32. Oh. 32. 32. 32. Times, two. Times two. 30. Double 64 down. points of damage. And you were uh, complaining about Matty's. 64. You're raping oh, your Nobody's you complaining. See, you see him <laughs> dodge. You see Aldrich dodge in between you guys, kind of leap over two. you, and then just go. <laughs> 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 and this stone thing just collapses. Guys, we're all just gonna stare at him. Like. He's like, he's like peeking through. Guys, can we just get this done? <laughs> like, what have you been doing this whole time? Where like, have you been? <laughs> what yeah, what's going on yeah, here? That's how you do it. Ridiculous. You do more damage in a one-handed poke than I can do in three attacks. <laughs> um, okay, I am going to uh, use my last spell that I was saving for Percher, but I guess that's not really going to happen anyway. Um, I'm going to use my last spell slot to cast Cure Wounds on myself, because that will allow you to walk. You, allow can, me to walk. Sh- you can still pretend So I put my hands up over the, over the wound, <laughs> Is there any and type I'm just of... going to cast uh, Cure Wounds. I'm going to call up to Woden, and <laughs> glow of light just fills up there and, and heals my, the, the wound there. Any type of trinket or trophy that I can take from that kill? Um, <laughs> a little stone here. Plus my spell <laughs> As you cast that, you uh, search. Um, you find their teeth are rather cool. They're these stone-like teeth, but they're they look like real teeth, but they're not teeth. They're they're not like enamel teeth, but they're made out of stone. I'm gonna grab a bunch. I'm gonna show Monty. Look, it matches the ones in your leg. <laughs> Ouch! Too sick. Uh-huh. Too sick. Yes, you can easily get. He's, he's still wounded. He's four, still, he's four still sets of teeth from awesome. these. Moving slow. Stone so wolf. I can outrun him. What are you saying? Stone wolf. You can outrun teeth. him before. Yeah. Until he gets on his horse. And you then definitely you're, can then you're now. Pretty screwed. <laughs> then you're toast. Okay, so you guys are in a hallway. Um, you guys you turned time. around, mm-hmm. and up ahead of you is the four-way intersection you passed. Off to the left-hand side was the room where you saw with mining supplies. Off to the right-hand side was it kind of wound around and where you threw the stone, and you could tell that it was rapidly descending. And then straight ahead is the direction that you came from. I guess we're going down. We go whichever way we haven't gone yet. If we know this, right? Because well, we just turned around. I think you haven't we need gone to go behind you. And you have a. Yeah, we well, we down. just turned yeah. around, I thought. Yeah, didn't we just turn around? We didn't we stop we, and turn we around? We threw, like, lights and then we kind of came oh, back. No, 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 we, no, turned, no, no. We, we made a right. Yeah. No, we turned around because we got attacked. No. We never actually. Oh, okay. Went. So no. you're going to continue we... straight the way you were going? Well, I'm just saying, we never finished I going down no this hallway. We didn't? I thought. Yeah, I thought we turned around. Oh, I thought we did. Yeah, I thought we turned around. I thought oh, yeah. we turned yeah, around, yeah, we and did. that's when we got attacked from behind. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, I could have sworn yeah. we were heading oh. back. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we stopped, and then we went back because there was. Oh, I thought you were saying we already made the quick right. No. And then he was saying there's one more direction in that last intersection uh-huh. that we have not gone. Gotcha. The descent. We haven't okay. gone down to the descent. Yeah, I, I believe we stepped incorrectly at the first intersection. Who's got perhaps, the map? Perhaps we should have gone straight instead of taking any turns immediately after. Okay. The <laughs> well, let's just go the last direction. Okay. 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 So you're gonna go down. to the intersection, and what be would be to the right? Yeah. The thing okay. Goes down. Okay. So you start. You go to the intersection, and you start going to the to the right, and it quickly, quickly uh, bends to the to the right. A correction to the left, and then back to the to the right as it descends, and you. 
and it's descending down and down, and it goes about 100 feet, and it's, it's kind of a, a slippery. Everybody roll a dex uh, check with advantage. You guys are... And you're back in your normal marching order, correct? Oh, it's a natural 20. 17. Dirty 20. Yep. Okay. Did we, did we um, find a way out of here? Do you still know where we are? Yeah. Not at all. You don't recognize this at all, Aldrich? 17. Does Aldrich yeah. recognize this at all? No. Yeah. Told you. He's got us totally lost. So we went the wrong way. He has totally lost us. It's not this way. We gotta go back to the beginning okay. and start again. Okay. If we know where okay. the beginning is. But I can remember that. <laughs> so what do you guys do? Do you continue straight, or do you... You don't remember this at all. He doesn't remember this at all, so we gotta yeah. go back. Yeah. Lovely. This is just... That's, well, that is just lovely, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We need to make our way back to when the When we beginning. get to the giant pit with the big monster, then I'll remember. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, well, then we're gonna go back. Okay, so you turn around. You turn around in this small corridor. You go back to the four-way intersection where you just were, and you turn right so that you're heading back the direction that you were going. Yeah. yeah. It slightly descends, and then um, well, we see the glowy light make a right. Okay, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so you start to come. You come up to the, a, a three-way intersection you where you can crystals? continue straight, or you can go your right, and. <laughs> And up ahead, you see the glowing lights. You turn right at that point. Next you go about right. 300 feet, uh -huh. and eventually you come to a right hand. You come to that four-way intersection where you can make a you make a right. You can go straight, or you could. Uh, We're gonna make a right. Go left. You go back straight to the, to the armory, left goes back or, to the dungeon, or right? left back to the left back to the castle. castle. Yes. So you make the make right, the right, and you continue, and it descends ever so slightly in Alderus. Alderus. Alderic, this looks slightly familiar to you. And then eventually, up ahead, you see that the um, it, it, it opens into a huge expanse, a huge massive expanse, and you're on this very narrow, uh, narrow crevasse along the edge of it, where you're moving along uh, the left-hand side of it as it it just goes, and then off, off to the to the right. It just disappears into the darkness. And down below, you can hear things scurrying. And it kind of loops all the way around. And it keeps going and going and going and going and going. It kind of cuts back and forth. But it's almost like you're on a precipice, this very narrow precipice. Everybody roll a dex check, please. Just Did you go through this before? Did you go through this area? Alter? Yes, this looks familiar. 14. Oh, natural 20. 17. 19. Matthias, dex check. Uh, doing it now. Um, Loading. That is Loading. a... Okay, while he's 13. doing... 13. 13. Matthias starts to slip and fall. I had a natural 20. Can I grab him? Sure. Go for it. Roll <laughs> a uh, acrobatics or athletics check with disadvantage. Uh-oh. <laughs> disadvantage? Um, Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not good. Let me check my... Crap. Yeah, it looks, sounds like you're going. It sounds like we're both going, to be honest with you. Uh, I, should I Nine, use an inspiration uh, or wait, it's too late for that? 16? Uh, you can use it. Um, you should call it out quicker. But 16, you reach over and you grab him. You've got him by the hand. You're barely holding on to him. He's dangling down off the edge at this point. I put my other hand out. Boulder! I'm going to put my other arm out. Or you grab onto my arm. I'll grab it. Okay, both of you roll a strength check to pull him up. Both of us? Yes, Myself you need a combined 40 to pull up this armored tank. 24. 24 and you need 16. Uh, I got 70. 17! No, oh! He's, he's just, he's, you're both struggling and you managed to pull him back up onto the precipice he itself. The strength check, right? Just the strength modifier? Yep. So five. Yep. Yep. Oh, so 17. 17. Oh, my brothers. Huh. Almost as much as my actual brother who is old enough to be my father. Well, that's that not just weird. got weird. What is okay. he talking about? I let him just go. do me a favor, Maddie. Clearly, they do things differently <laughs> hungry. Maddie, just do me a favor. Just watch your footing. Yes. Watch your footing. Just what? Watch your just footing. Watch. Oh, yes. yes. He, eat your pudding, he yeah. said. Yeah, yeah eat, eat your pudding. pudding. <laughs> well, uh, I, will, I will endeavor to do. Can't have your English and eat your pudding. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Oh. Baldur, does this look familiar to you? 
You went down there with them originally, no? I never went this way. Uh -huh. don't look familiar this to me. looks about as familiar as a dark cavern can look. I'm pretty sure when we went down here, we just went the other way where those crystals were. You went to the rope, though, didn't you? You okay. went as far with them to the rope because one of them went outside and looked previously. Yes, you did. Yeah. yeah you so you would remember you it up until the rope. rope. Do, do I see any any oh, any yeah. evidence of the of the of the? You're not there yet. Oh, okay. Okay. So you continue uh, on, or what do you do? Yeah. yeah. You continue on the precipice, this narrow area that you're overlooking. This huge expanse that just disappears into the darkness below where there's all kinds of scurrying sounds. Uh, it kind of bends around to the uh, to the right and then eventually it kind of straightens out and it goes out to a platform that looks really familiar to you at this point. And on this platform, almost it kind of opens up into this large platform that's probably about 60 to 70 feet wide and probably about 15 feet deep. Uh, you can see the two large posts that are stuck firmly into the ground. A little bit of moss on them, but they're still quite stalwart. And then it's going out across another crevasse are these two lines just extending out across the darkness to, to something far beyond, beyond your, your light source's ability to see. Um, on either side and down below is this dark dark crevasse and you can hear things. Everybody roll an investigation check, please. And tell me. Nine. Got 22. Uh, 17. Zero. Well, Mattias is working it up. <laughs> Simon, <laughs> off to. Is, is working, I'm sorry, what? Investigation. Uh, well, you're working that up. Oh, yes. Off to your left hand side. Uh, you coming in here with your light sources? You guys, you have a. Uh, I have a torch. You have a torch. I have a torch. You have a torch. You have a torch. Have a torch. And you catch this ever so slight glimpse of something, and uh, with your twenty-two, thank you, Reiner. Uh, you catch an ever so slight glimpse off of something gold that kind of shimmers off way off into the distance in the darkness down in this pit far below the treasure. In the pit far below? Yes. Why don't you... Can you send a raven, maybe? Can we get a better, closer look? Sure, yeah. yeah. I'll cast light, cast light on a rock, send the raven down there. Sure. Okay. You can send my bird, whatever. Oh, I didn't even know you had a bird. I did. It's not my bird. I think had a weasel or something. He was a weasel. I oh, turned him a bird. Oh. He's a bird now. Birds are more useful than weasels. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you guys doing? I'm sending the raven with the... Yeah, with the, the raven. rock, rock, paper, yeah. scissors? You send the raven down. Here's a rock of light. <laughs> Uh, I can do that too. <laughs> we'll send the raven down. Okay, so the raven has a small pebble in its mouth and it's flying down. Balder, you roll your eyes back in your head and you're, you're one with the bird and you kind of see it flying down. You As you're flying down, you see these stalagmites sticking up from the ground, this undulating ground down below. Every once in a while, you catch a glimpse of this large bluish creature with with uh, orange spikes on it. You instantly seen it before and you dive out of the way of it. And then up ahead you see this mound of like gold and there's some other bodies there. And roll an investigation check. Uh, what is that, 13? Okay, you, you just, there seems to be some bodies there and some some of their equipment remaining there, and it looks like they had mining away at this 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 rock formation of gold against the wall. All right. Okay. And then uh, continuing on, you, where do you go from there? Um, I guess I'll just keep going. If if it goes deeper, I'll keep going in to get the gold about. that they were talking. Okay. About. You fly around. <laughs> you you flew toward where. Um, the gold, like, mined area was, and then uh, up, uh, you come up to a wall, and you're kind of flying around, and then about 120-ish feet above that, you see another platform with another tunnel. You dive back down into the ditch, or into the cavern, and you're flying around, and you see up on your left-hand side, up on your left-hand side, the other platform that was on the other side, 
uh, where the ropes go across to. It's it's probably a okay. uh, hundred plus feet from one side to the other, and and then slightly further up you see what looks like a nest of some kind with these um, uh, these those snake like creatures, and there's a pile of bodies in there as well, in that nest like area. Okay. Do you see Kartra anywhere? I will do my best to see if I can make any of them out. She's not looking good. Roll an investigation check. With, I'm going to say with Disney. Where did you see Carter Norman? Am I at the... Um, You're at the post. Yeah. Just, everybody is. So I'm explaining oh, how no. I had crossed Seven. the chasm on the ropes. She was on this side. She was on this side. Nicholas I'm look around was the on the ropes on when the, the ropes fell. Uh, I mean, uh, okay, roll an investigation check. <clears throat> But I could not see her from the other side uh, of the castle. Eleven. We would have passed her mm. if she had gone back. Well, from the Raven, I've only got good news and better news. Good news, I haven't found Karcher's body. Okay. Better news, found gold. Like coins? How much gold? A lot of gold. How much gold can the Raven carry? Roughly how big was the pile of gold? It wasn't a pile of gold. It was, it was, rock. Like, it was like rock. rock. It was like rock. gold in it. Hey, there might be some gold scattered along yeah. the base of it. But it was it was like rock ore with gold in it. Yes. Well, what's down there moving? All those terrible things. How many? One or many? Well, it's a nest. <laughs> it's a little, oh. It's not, it's not a few. <laughs> oh, it is a few, you mean? There's a lot, probably more than a few. Right? Oh, oh, okay. Just flying over there, I saw quite a bit. Okay. So they're definitely, <laughs> they're definitely in here. And there's no sign of Kartra. There's no. Gotcha. There's her blood. Is there anything on the? I'll start floor? looking. You around don't spot the, anything. I'll start looking around on the floor. On, on okay, roll an investigation check. Find anything. And she had shields. She had equipment. There must be something. Uh, it's only a thirteen. Roll low. You don't spot anything. You look around. I mean, there's. There's rocks and debris. I mean, with You're the looking creatures, with the torch with the creatures light. in here, there's no way if she's alive that she's still here. But we're looking she for has something. To have retreated. It could be blood or a sign of a struggle or anything. She, but she was a subterranean. Her weapons? Was the thing going to pick up her weapon? Some... There's got to be some. She had to have dropped something if she was injured. Right? I mean, there would be just no trace. What is look, the, the, this beast it knows enough to come back and pick up her hammer? Can we spread out her the hammer and or did he bring look? it with her? It's a hole. Those things are large. But there's other bodies down there. You see, saying? I'm sorry, Aldrich. What'd you ask? Uh, can we spread out and search, or did, did oh, Simon? Absolutely, do... you can search too. Let's try searching. Let's spread out and search. Yeah, I mean, I've been searching. I'm, I've rolled low. We're just all the rolling low. I think it's nothing. And I got no inspiration. Um, I'm gonna use an inspiration. I would use inspiration, but I have a minus one. I'm not, I'm not you know. Not good. Well, <laughs> well spent. <laughs> What'd you get? Three. Three. Even less. I would be doing more to help if it were for the fact that my leg is rather <laughs> shredded at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. I can't help yet. I can't help no, you. No, I can help next week. No <laughs> <laughs> next week I'll help you. Next week. Just hang on there. Don't bleed to death. Ah, uh, that's not the issue. <laughs> I can cure him with some eyeballs if you'd really like. There you go. <laughs> I do not know what else we You're watching do. the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die, and we will be right back. Guys.
<laughs> You're watching the Carpathian Adventure on Seven Sided Die, and the party is beneath Sloss Kyberg, um, exploring, uh, looking for, I, I'm guessing, treasure and <laughs> and Kartra's body. And we rejoin them in progress. What are you guys doing? I'm looking for Kartra. Okay. So you're scanning the, the. You don't. You guys. So far, I think everybody's looked. Um, Maddie, if Marcus you want to. would be looking, but he's currently trying not to put too much pressure on his leg. Okay, you can look though if you want to roll an investigation check. Um, it's up to you. Uh, he'll, he'll give a cursory look around. Okay, roll with disadvantage then. <laughs> what a guy. Hmm? What, a, what, a, what, a, what a guy. Really? I'm, I'll send. I'm gonna prop you up. <laughs> I'll send my hawk out. With uh, so a, with a I light got an 18. I see with anything disadvantage. For... My I'm sorry? <laughs> I got an 18 with disadvantage. Okay, you spot a little bit of blood uh, on the on the edge of the cliff. And it looks like it was dragged. The blood, it's hard to tell. It looks as though it was dragged across the surface toward the edge and down into the darkness. No. Does it taste like gore? Over here. <clears throat> go over there and look down There's right blood. in that area. I look down over the edge. As you I look down prepared. over the edge, and it just disappears into the darkness <laughs> below. I'll throw, I'll throw my torch over. Focus your bird over here. You throw your torch mm -hmm. down. Yeah. It tumbles down in between uh, some stalagmites, and you can see it's probably about 60-ish feet, but it's not a smooth platform mm -hmm. down below. It's probably about 60 feet below, and it's just undulating terrain and kind of... All over the place, but no, nothing metallic catches the, the light. Oh, no, <laughs> not right there. It's settled. We just have to kill every last one of them in there. Can we come back in a week and do that? That might take a while. <laughs> it is what it is. If it was, if it was, if it was your body, I would do the same. Well, thank you. I mean, if it was your body, I'd do so much more. <laughs> 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 well, I hope I'm not. Well, can I throw Aldrich over the edge? I'm gonna grab him and throw him over the edge. I don't even. Hey, know. Aldrich, take a look down there. I don't even know what to make of that. <laughs> I think I see something, Aldrich. Look, it's shiny. Go get it. I'll throw him off the edge. Gold. These beasts are formidable, and I, I, I have the same feeling as you that we need to find Kasha, but to rush down there now would be foolhardy. What, what what can I? What do you want to do? I mean, I want to. If if it is a retrieval mission of her body, I I agree. Give her a burial. Um, waiting a week will not. I mean, if we wait a week and she doesn't come back, we know what the end result is. Have you seen? Have you? Uh, have I mean, are is, you familiar with? This is her blood. We know what the end yeah, result is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Have you ever seen the change in a body, a dead body, in the course of a week? Absolutely. I mean, I would not want that for myself. Then you can't change shouldn't. much more than being eaten. <clears throat> but if she made it out of here alive, then she would have went back the other way. If this right. is her, if this yeah, is we would have seen her. If this is her blood, there's no. I mean, there's a slim chance she made it out. We don't know if there would be anything left of her body. I... No. I dread to say it, but I think this is the second time that we've lost a companion. Like this. Our best hope is to head back and hope that either someone has heard from her or she comes back, but... Of course, the first time was the warlock. As you said, and... none of us are prepared to go down here. I don't think anyone misses the warlock. No, we, we're not prepared to go down here, but this is, you know, this means something. We, we, we got to find her. Even if finding her just means retrieving the body. Yeah, yeah right. But we aren't prepared to go mount that type of mission at this point. So. We're not. I mean, as hard as it is, we might just have to accept her fate. There's no way we can take these. We can't take these things on at full health, <laughs> especially now. Some champions of the sun wear. Perhaps we can rest and. There's no and, sun here. 
attempt to get down there, uh, and at least at full strength, we could retreat if necessary. But, um... Lawrence. If we went around to the other side, do you know how to get around to the other side of this cavern? Yes, I can take you the mountain. Take if we you went around mountain. to the other side, we can go around to the other side. We can cut the rope. Rope's already cut. Yeah, the rope's not cut, is it? Yeah. No. The rope's going across. You shimmied across it. Didn't the rope snap when, when Nicholas was on it? That's No, no it pulled it off. that it. he was... He was, um, he was yeah. like safety. He was tied safety to it. Oh, so the rope snap. is still intact. The mm-hmm. two, there's two ropes going across. Oh, okay, I thought they were... Yeah, you and want, they're you still want to there. across that? If we went, if, if we went I mean, around to the other side and cut the rope, and then came back around to the other, back to this side, we could use that rope to climb down. I have rope in my pocket. Unless there's a way that we can cut it from the other side without us. <laughs> having you do the whole thing, and then he pulls out. You know, I had this by the way. His raven can cut it with his beak. I mean, I could try to shoot. The you rope get whatever, I mean, we, get but at least down. later we could climb down to get down because it's sixty feet. Yeah. How were we going to even get down there? I have a rope of fifty feet in my pocket. I have to fall five. But is it 60? We don't even know, right? I mean, that's the saying. At least that rope we know would be an estimation. Okay. I'm sure we can get rope in the castle also without having to go around the mountain. This is true. Do do you all hear me? Yes. Yes. Say it again, Maddie. Okay, um, well, I could try shooting the rope if I could get enough leverage with my bow, but no promises. Could you, could we're not ready to go down there think, right I now. I don't think anyway. we can even see the well, other What are you side. trying, if you were to do so, what are you trying to accomplish? To cut the rope. Oh, to, to cut, cut it. it. Yeah. But we can't even see the other side. I mean, you can, right? it's literally, there's two posts right yeah. at the edge. I mean, if you wanted to. No, he wants to cut the rope oh, on the other side the, uh, so it falls this way. Oh. Yeah. Right. Well, either way, arrow. we can't go down right now. Yeah. I, I would just yeah. go into the castle and get 100 feet of rope. It's a, right. I mean, it's a, it's a death sentence. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, I, I, we've lingered here even already too long. I I want to achieve a I, body. I hate, to, I hate to admit it, but I do not think I could survive another battle like that. It is a death sentence to try to retrieve her, even, even at our fullest. Mm. I would like to try. She helped me much. And she healed us wow. all at various points. She did. So let's head back and regroup and <clears throat> who knows? Maybe she's there waiting. Maybe for she's us. there hoisting in the in the in the great hall. I mean we're just I'd like to think that we're just wasting our time down here. Maybe she's there already. Maybe. Maybe. Can we head back? I think yeah. this is the first right, time. Okay. I'm drawing a map. Tra- okay. <laughs> I think this is the first time while traveling okay. with all of you that that I felt this grief surrounding the absence of a companion. I certainly didn't feel this guilt regarding the warlock. <laughs> he didn't like the warlock, did he? He didn't like the warlock. He didn't, he didn't like the warlock. Yeah, I didn't either, but... But... Um... Yeah, back to the But perhaps uh, she is, perhaps the worst, she but. is back at the castle. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, Matthias. <laughs> none, of, none of us believe what we're saying, but we're like, me. <laughs> so what are you doing? Are you ready to head back? You turn, you turn around and head back. Uh-huh. You turn around. Reluctantly, I'm gonna linger a little. And start to turn back and. Sorry, it's all good. It's a Cartra. Just... Sorry about that. Mattias, here's an inspiration token for you, boss. This stack's down pretty high. Cartra, I'll be back to give you the warrior's send off you deserve. You turn, and reluctantly. Um, go back, you're crossing the platform. You go back out onto the precipice that you came here on, and obviously where it was, you were skirting the left-hand side. Now you're, it's the, the, the huge um, expanse is off to your uh, left at this point as you start to work your way around it. 
Everybody roll a deck save on this narrow precipice. Not a deck save, a dex check, please, on this narrow precipice as you continue to work your way around 16. it. 16. Zyman. Natural 20. <clears throat> Zyman, your feet skitter a little bit, but you manage to maintain your, your 14. balance. <laughs> no. 14? 14. 14. <laughs> Boulder starts to slip, and he's going over the edge. 13. I got a natural 20. Okay, you want to try and grab him, Matthias? Yes. Try and reach out and grab him. Give me a, a, a dex or acrobatics or extraction. Acrobatics or athletics check. Well, well I know I'm really good in one of those, so... Uh, I'm sorry, sir? I get advantage. Effects that you can Plus see okay. while you're not blinded. Sure, go for it. Oh, it's way better. Okay. It's 20, a dirty 20. Okay, roll. If you want to try and grab Balder, go for it. Give me an athletics or acrobatics check. Uh, 26. 26. You reach out and you grab Balder's arm as he starts to slip off the edge there. Down below you hear something skirting to come up after him. What are you guys doing? I Punch in the face. Punch in the face. I'll help, I'll help Mattias pull him up. Okay, sure both of you, um, Mattias and Borinth. Roll a, a combined strength check of 40 there, please. Oh, jeez. Uh -oh. <laughs> this heavy tank of weight and solid no. plate. I'll, I'll, use, I'll use the newly acquired information. <laughs> Dibs on the hammer, if you I don't, think a, I don't think a seven would be Dibs on the hammer, people. I forget, I, I forget what kind of you do to a check rather than a save. I got a 19. 19. You need 21 combined. What do you? I will have you know. I can just roll, roll a d20. Add your plane. strength. This should be plus While five. I in hell, I will keep it. <laughs> yeah. So, I, so what do I need to hit? Just roll strength. Just roll a d20 and add five. Okay. Um. Okay. Here's hoping. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Automatic. Here. It's terrifying to roll that when you get plus eleven normally. Like, uh, pull me plus five. Are you sure? Are you sure? It's all I get. It's all I get. It's one die. Um. Well, I guess not. I'm, I'm sorry. Use inspiration on that. You, you have a lot. You have a, a stack of inspiration. You can just keep going till you get a natural twenty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Use this. Yeah, that's a that's a stack. Yeah, I'm doing so. Okay, and uh, 22. Okay. There you go. You, you managed to pull him back up onto the precipice between you and Borinth, one of you on either side of him, lifting his arms <laughs> up onto it. And you continue on your way around this this Ooh, this nice edge oh, of this God. massive oh, cavern, this other second, the first massive cavern. And then it goes back into the narrow hallway. It dips down slightly and then comes back up. You come to the four-way intersection that you were at before that went right or left, and you know the entrance that it from the castle is straight ahead. You continue out. Yep. You continue forward, and you eventually find yourselves in the dungeons down below the castle itself. Katra, has anyone seen a dwarf? Matthias, uh, pats Boulder's shoulder before moving uh, <laughs> towards the uh, uh, towards the his, the, the, the party's uh, quarters. I, I'm Does sorry. Yeah, I, 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 it was me, not you. What? Say that one more time, please. Matthias uh, uh, slaps his hand against Boulder's shoulder uh, wordlessly before limping towards the party's quarters. <laughs> okay. With his wounded leg. He's really playing up this leg thing, isn't he? <laughs> I'll, uh, I gotta shove some eyeballs in his wound. You know what I'd say. <laughs> shove some eyeballs in his wound. Would that actually do anything? Yeah, I can. Yeah, he can, he can heal with the eyeballs. I can heal you with my vision. Oh, can, my man. vision eye. There's an eyeball in his hand. Yeah, let's see. No, it didn't work. <laughs> Oh. Not this time. What's the condition of his? Uh, sorry, let me he just has minus ten to movement until he gets cure wounds cure or similar wounds. spell, potion of healing, or long rest. Oh, he's got a potion of healing, right? Yeah, know. you got a potion of healing. Why don't you just heal yourself? A potion. I of... was saving it for someone who who, who, who felt needed it. Well, you can't he's, walk. He's, Are you gonna live for a week? <laughs> yeah, you need it. He's bleeding to death. I'm saving this. Yeah, <laughs> you have two of them. You have two potions of healing. At least you can walk. Okay. <laughs> At least you can walk around. Um, then I'll use a potion of healing. So okay. It's 2d4 plus 2. 
Yeah, <laughs> both of them are the same. So 2D, 4 plus 2. Oh, I'm sorry. Butter here. That's alright. <laughs> 4 plus 2. Look at starting a long rest. This is a better for you guys. Yes. 6 damage. The 6 damage healed. Okay, okay. And, and, you're, and you can and walk jump. again. And you can walk again. Yeah. Okay. I cannot decide whether I need a meal or a drink. A little bit of both sounds good. I'm going to yeah, go so grab a whole barrel of ale. I'm going to grab a barrel of ale. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to grab a barrel of ale. I'm just gonna drag it to a place where I can just rest. <laughs> did, did Klaus survive the battle? Uh, yeah, Klaus survived yeah. the battle. Um, you go looking in yeah. the common area? Yeah, yeah. Okay, obviously you go into the common area, you go through it straight to the storage area, I'm assuming that you had been in once before, where you had stolen two chickens from. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so yeah. <laughs> you walk in there and you grab a barrel and you just walk out. You walk into this room and it's... Um, um, it seems pretty upbeat and so forth. There, it's almost like a party atmosphere. It's rousing. It's still the evening. Now, by now, it's probably evening uh, of the uh, following the morning some, of your battle. Some scrawny guy waiting to fill up his glass. You just take the whole barrel. I take the whole barrel, and I'm gonna <laughs> cut a section of it open <laughs> with my with my axe, and I'm just gonna just drink it right out of the barrel. <laughs> He, he, uh -huh. That's he, what I'm he almost just like this. he almost goes to say something. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a rousing party held in the large common room. There's beer and wine flowing freely, and now there's a large keg of it flowing freely. <laughs> Food that had been stored for a long siege makes its way to the tables in, in the form of uh, heavy, thick stews and hearty breads and thick, chewy mead for those who drink it. The revelry goes long into the night. Townsfolk, villagers, men-at-arms, knights all cheer and applaud and raise your cups to you as you come into the room. The champions of the sun, albeit in Deutsch, most of them are saying, for those of you who nice understand one. it. Uh, it seems as though they've been partying into the night. Some of them come up to you and start to regale you with what they remember of the battle <laughs> and uh, where they were and who they were with. And the story... If those of you who pick up on it, uh, the story of the victory seems to grow in scale by the telling of the people around the room the various perceptions of what they heard. You suspect the tale will grow taller still. I'll just be scanning the room while they're all congratulating us, looking to see if any sign of Kartra. Just like that last little bit of hope. Maybe she's here somewhere. Mm -hmm. You don't see her. You're looking for Klaus. Yes. You scan across the room, and there he is with a group of uh, a group of soldiers at a table drinking, and they seem to be having a good time. And he's leaning back, laughing. <laughs> God. I nod my glass to him, and uh, I assume it's very raucous and loud. Yeah, it's room. pretty loud and raucous in here. Yeah. I hold out my glass and I nod to him, and I I intend to kill you before I leave. Uh, he, sure he turns and somebody nudges his shoulder and he looks over to you. And he is, uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> And I smile and rage and drink. And he's like, what the? <laughs> uh, cheers to <laughs> you, Isaac. Yeah. But Matthias says, over my dead body. You, you didn't hear that. Did you see anybody poke these back? Okay. Did anybody see that? <laughs> so what are you guys doing? I know you were close. <laughs> I know you were right there. I'm, I'm guessing that it's only people... It was shrapnel. Like, from... from Klaus Kyberger in here. Like, none of the representatives of the other, of the opposing force has come in at all. Correct. Okay. Correct. I'm just I'm just going to a place I can rest. Well, you still have the area that you were staying in. Mm -hmm. You could easily go yeah, back there. Yeah, go back there. Is Benzo in the room? Uh, is Benzo in the room? Sure, Benzo Del Sandro is there. Oh no, I was just asking for general knowledge. He's a dirty rat. Don't talk to him. <laughs> well, I got business with Klaus. You can handle Benzo. <laughs> Benzo's a dirty what, what do we hear from the from the common talk? Is anybody keeping watch? Is the uh, enemy army still encamped? Uh, have they retreated? Um, 
you approach somebody? Who yeah, you... I'm just trying to pick a conversation. Okay, you listen. You move from table to table, scanning, and there. Most of the conversation is is about um, how victorious they were, and and you know, but so and so did this, and he took down ten guys with his dagger, and blah 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 blah, and they're ah, you're full of you know horse manure, <clears throat> and and what have you, yeah. <clears throat> You don't really pick up on anything with you. The sounds of the descriptions is that everybody is convinced it was an overwhelming victory. You don't really. There's no real discussion on what the other. The army big was. guy cut off the blue guy, the blue-haired guy's head, and handed it to the <laughs> other <laughs> army. <laughs> that'll be a that'll go down in history, right? He handed him his head. <laughs> Indeed it will. <laughs> did you see the wizard try to tackle the guy on the yeah, horse? Just yeah. fly out of the sky and land see, in the did dirt? Did you see the wizard <laughs> fall off the cliff? <laughs> Just land in the dirt? Totally missed. <laughs> <laughs> I've led one too many charges. That's when, that's when both sides of the army stop fighting and just watch him. Down with any particular notoriety. <laughs> I'm just sulking. I'm going back to our somewhat of a quarter that we have, and yeah, I'm, I'm going back to rest, okay. resting, and just so it, you drinking all my head barrel back of beer into the that lower room. The lower room. Yeah. Is anyone mm -hmm. else doing yeah. anything else? So you head all. Everyone heads back into the lower room, and you're uh, you're, you're just <laughs> resting away for the night. And it's your time. What are you doing? Anything in particular? Uh, in relation to the, the numbers in the book that I've learned are some sort of nav navigation from some point, is there anything that I, is there anything I remember of Zaragoza where I think those measurements would have been taken from? Is there like a large tower or any kind of other monument that I think that those sure. things. Sure. You know that the family keep was a rather mm -hmm. prominent feature there, and that, that would be a logical place from which to to draw something. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's one form of speculation. There is a cathedral in Zaragoza. Could have been the cathedral. But I mean, they're still in relatively close proximity to one another. Okay. That, that's kind of all I'm like really thinking about. I mean, just resting, having a couple glasses of wine. Reflect okay. on what has happened the last couple of days. Okay. Um, anyone else doing anything? When the Khan came into Kiev, there were tears and there was weeping. The people cried, but the angels did not come. Heaven itself was sleeping. Just watching Mattias <laughs> sing and drinking my barrel. Cheers. I think that may have made me more depressed. I'm gonna knock on the wall. Quiet down in there! Try to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> I've sung that particular verse far too many times in the past year. I was thinking, Mattias. Hmm? What if we were to tell what was the what was the what if the emperor, the whoever we were just fighting, I can't remember his name. It's been way too long. Um, and I think I have, I think I have a traumatic brain injury. Leopold. <laughs> Leopold. What if we, what if we told them that underneath this city lies a mountain of gold? But what we need is we need men to go under the mountain to kill these monsters, and then. They can have the goal down there. They can use it for the city, whatever they decide to do. But we could, in turn, try to retrieve Kartra while they do so. 
It is possible. I don't know how Werner will feel about you. It's letting Leopold know that there's a lot of gold. I think Carter's made that sacrifice. Uh, has made it well worth his interest. Well, I will leave that in your hands. It's just a thought. No. It's a possibility, I suppose. It depends on exactly how much his own self-interest outweighs his outweighs any distaste for us he might feel. Is it is it worth sending... distaste for us? I mean, we just is it worth sending sixty more men in there to to die just just to find her body? Just Klaus. To me, it is. But not to their families. <laughs> I, feel, I feel the loss as much as you do. Boy. There's nothing but a death sentence down there. We may have to move on. Oh, I'm not ready yet. We're here. She we lies to heal. beneath the ground, and uh, you know, in the ground beneath us. We're going to rest here regardless. Let us see what the week brings while we rest, and uh, if nothing more pressing remains, we should decide. There are many things pressing. We are, we are trying to stop an invasion from a, from a vampire lord that's digging beneath our, our feet. We have made plenty of little side quests. I know I'll sleep tonight, but I won't sleep well. We'll what discuss it. I'll we'll we'll just bury it in this barrel of ale. Baldy, you should get your one. Get yourself a barrel like this. <laughs> Are there any uh, artisan types in the keep? Um, some people from town. Only Klaus. Um, there are people yeah. uh, from the village. I'd like to town. try to fashion my uh, stone teeth into like a necklace of sorts. Okay, is that something you're going to do right now? Or? Um, I, uh, okay. The next day, the next day. Okay, so oh, not tonight. I'm resting words. tonight, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so tonight, you're, you're right now, you're all in the, in the, uh, in the, uh, what you call it, in, yes. the, in the room mm -hmm. uh, the, on the first floor of the keep. Okay, so tomorrow you plan to go looking for them. Anybody else doing anything tonight? Yeah, I'll take an hour. I'll take an hour tonight to bond to my new hammer and uh, just kind of look it over. <laughs> Say goodbye to the old one. It's just trustworthy good. hammer. Whoa! That was a hell of a bond. <laughs> that. That's a solid bond. Okay, you've bonded to it. All right. Does it feel any different? Is it going to work any better than it did down there? It, it, the weight is nice. Because I don't know. That wasn't, nice wasn't very impressive. <laughs> The weight's nice, huh? Make it shoot a lightning bolt. I want to see that again. <laughs> I just like start trying. Yeah, we're gonna throw something in the air. We're gonna throw something in the air to see if you can hit it with a lightning bolt. I just ball. pointed at things. To see if I'm gonna throw out. a plate. You ready? Tell me when. Go. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Try it in Swedish. Try it in your native language. Ready? And pull. Who's <laughs> knock? Nothing. I can't I figure think, this out. I think I have quite a few friends. Are you able to help me attune into this item? I think Baldur's got I, a. I can a, find out some more things about it, but you can do that too. I think too. Baldur's got a letter to respond to. You have identify, right? Uh, I thought you had no. a pearl for identify. No. I thought that was for you, though. Yeah, well, yeah I got, he got yeah, a pearl for you. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Because I don't have the spell, I just had the pearl or whatever. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll cast identify on the hammer. Then. You cast identify tonight? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it takes a. Okay, you cast identify on it, and you it it almost seems as though you're flying across this tundra like uh -oh. terrain. I'm sorry. Uh -oh. <laughs> he goes, uh oh, it killed. <laughs> this just kind killed of him. <laughs> tundra like terrain, and then it dives down and it goes across the water, and then you see these spectacular cliffs in front of you that are absolutely amazing with these crevices that that go into them and so forth. And while you've never heard of the term fjords, they mm -hmm. look like these massive 
columns of rock and stone and you seem to fly up on top of them and then there's a huge just expanse of green and you cross it and you come across a trail and you all of a sudden you find you find yourself flying down this trail back and forth and you seem to cross other what for want of a better word would be pilgrims and then you just continue and everything seems to speed up and almost as if you rise up and there in front of you is this um for want of a better word a a, a, a church a um a um some type of place of worship and, and you go inside and it just overwhelmed with blue light and then the lightning bolts seem to pierce your body at the same time <laughs> and you wake up and you seem to know everything well as much as you can about it you know that it's called um this is the problem with writing something so long ago. <laughs> this, is a, this is a long time. Einajar's Hammer of Lin. Einajar's Hammer of Lin, or the, of, the fighter of, uh, of the fighters of Odin. Hammer of Lightning is a finely crafted hammer with intricate Norse runes, and this is what is coming to you. The hammer is plus two to hit and plus two, plus the bearer's strength modifier and damage, bludgeoning damage. Nice. Um, in addition, on a killing blow, the hammer absorbs and stores worthy opponent's energy up to the wielder's level. Some level, some large or unusual creatures may be worth more. Consult with the DM. The stored energy as an action, the wielder may once between long rests stand, sit upright, and throw their head back and sing the tune of the Ride of the Valkyries to the song of Elijah, the Hammer of Lynn. And I can't find, where's my background music? I can't find it. I am the hammer. You've heard him sing this. Yeah. I am the hammer, the hammer of woe, and the bringer of lightning. Now time to die. And there is background music for it. After which, the wielder may immediately then cast a lightning bolt 60 feet in length that does 1d6 lightning damage for each soul of non-undead worthy opponent that's absorbed up to the wielder's level. The lightning bolt extends from the wielder and, unlike a traditional lightning bolt, may bend twice one hex direction on, on its 60-foot path. Enemy targets may make a dex save versus the wielder's spell DC 8 plus blah 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 for half damage. Uh, the souls absorbed reset to zero after expending or after one eight week if not expended. Note that the wielder must dramatically, dramatically sing the song for the effect to happen. If the wielder does not, the lightning bolt will not occur. That's what Tom's called forced RP. Some people need it. Anyway, there is even more once between <laughs> long rests. <laughs> what? He goes, some people hate it. Some people hate it. Too bad. <laughs> Find another game. <laughs> <laughs> Once between long rests, after spending 5d20 gold per person for up to six people, the bearer may create large mugs of a strong alcoholic brew called Heldfest. The hearty drink takes 10 minutes to consume, and many mugs and the mugs disappear at the end of that time. When consumed, a person that partakes of the drink gains several benefits. The person is cured of all diseases and poison effects, becomes immune to disease and poison, and may add up to 1d4 to their next 1d4 saving throws. Parenthesis, the ladder rolled by the wielder, unparenthesis. And their hit point maximum also increases by 2d6 temporary hit points. These benefits last for 24 hours. Instead of 2d6, the hit point bonus is 4d6 if the wielder manages to convince the others to enthusiastically indulge in the health fest song. For the health fest song, all indulging and desiring the extra 2d6 dramatically must sing the ride of the, to the tune of the ride of the Valkyries, the song of the health fest. We are brothers. We drink ourselves stupid. Tear limbs from our body. We shall sleep in Valhalla. But now time to die or at least sleep. The wielder may rewrite the lyrics, however the DM final gets final approval. <laughs> Either way, it is up to the DM's call, blah, blah, blah. As if that is not enough. While carrying the Elijah's hammer <laughs> of win, the player may raise one attribute by two points or two attributes by one point each, so a maximum of 20. Oh, Lastly, as magic is intended to have mystery in the Carpathian adventure, Elijah's hammer of Lynn is, of course, possessed by something like everything else is of innate personality, which may communicate with the bearer or may request that the bearer perform certain tasks and may have other powers that affects the purely mechanical ability of identify, may not or cannot discern. <laughs> <laughs> it may result in blood freezing, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. which also may or may not become uh, evident from other means. But in other words, the DM reserves the right to add things, but will never take anything away. Okay. All right. Very cool. Oh my goodness! I'm just glad it didn't freeze yeah. my brain. Yeah, uh, you have to. Like you have to print out. <laughs> you have to print out the song for us. Oh, yeah. 
so that we can. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got oh. it. Oh, oh, we have to have song. just so that we each. We have to have the song the Hulk Fest. Oh song. yeah, okay, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah we need this. And so we can do it. We you ready? Are we gonna do this? Are we gonna do this now? Yeah. <laughs> It takes ten minutes to get the get it brewing, right? Gotta try. I mean, I'm only going by what he told me. We gotta see if it works. Yeah. All I tell him is it makes beer. That's all I tell you. It makes like, beer. I don't know what else it does, but it brews something. Well, let's try it. <laughs> I'm thirsty. I will watch and, and yeah. see. Well, you won't get the extra two six. Yeah, you better sing. <laughs> Just hum loudly because you don't have the words in front of you. Okay. You ready? We're gonna do this. Uh -huh. One, two, one. We are brothers in arms, as we drink the soup, and we tear our lips from bodies. We shall sleep in Valhalla, but now it's time to die, or at least sleep. <laughs> All right, and a big drink. drink. I'm going to drink it. We're drinking. Giant mugs We're drinking. Like Don't that. stop. We're drinking. We're chugging. Cake stands. And you roll for everybody. <laughs> okay. Good job, guys. Four D6. Four D6 temporary. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> So when it's wow. temporary hit points, it increases our maximum hit points, right? Correct. Yeah, for 24 hours. So roll, oh, roll the 4d6 for us. Yes. Uh, we get... Jiggles. Three! You gotta chalk off the cash, too. How much yeah. is the cash? 25 per person. Okay. But he's got all the money anyway. So everyone's getting 18 temp hit points, and how much was it a person? 25. 25. 25. Like less than half the cost. It was about half the cost of a. What's that? I'll study it later. But yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. Another it's spell that may not be named. <laughs> and you cannot call it that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> awesome. But they go away in 24 hours. But we can sing again. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we can't be poisoned or diseased right now. There's a lot of people in here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This there is you go. true. <laughs> this is true. No COVID. <laughs> Sounds like a license to have a good time. Do you see how close everybody is? Oh, yeah. this is true. Yeah, yeah, that's the line, up all, the line up all the ladies. Yeah, how, I suddenly feel like going outside and caressing. Yeah. I'm, trying think, I'm trying to think how long ago. It doesn't burn when I pee anymore. It just didn't work out. That had to be like two and a half years ago. It was a while ago. I remember you giving me the song to play, and it had to be forever ago. Anyway. Yeah, at least two and a half years, at least. That's right. You should have it on your phone somewhere. That's My, right. I gave you the. Audio I think I've phone. had two phones. Since I put then. it on a. Uh, <laughs> He gave me like an MP3 file. I loaded to my phone, but that had to be like two phones ago. Oh uh, well, what are you gonna with do? the song on it. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Okay, so you're all in the room. Are you resting for the night? Resting. Yes. Yeah. Okay. For the week. You all. <laughs> Just sleeping. Understood. I'm sleeping and eating. Understood. What's your uh, current hit points, uh, Jess? Uh, I'm still at 53. 53. And uh, spells you have... I still have four first and one fifth. Four first, one fifth. Okay. Um, Ryan, current hit points? Oh, 45 plus 18. <laughs> I don't think the 18 matters, but 45. Yeah, I didn't put it in my time for it. Okay. Yeah, well, it's gone after one minute. Okay, 45 plus 18. Joe? 51. We'll be sure to do that when I'm after 51 the plus the 18? <laughs> 15 plus eight, uh, 51 plus 18 temporary. Okay. Uh, fourth? 42. So 42 plus 18, so 60. And uh, Reiner, current hit points? Uh, currently, I have uh, 22. 22 plus 18 current. Jeez. Yeah, he, he got... He got yeah, hammered. hammered. Yeah, okay, hammered and uh, Balder, you have zero spells, correct? Yes. As of right now. I okay. Have zero Everybody well. goes I have to zero as well. Just because okay, you got to track my well, spells. I, I do. As well. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. I just don't want to be left out. <laughs> get like two, right? I can do yeah, spells. Yeah, but yours, yours, your, I got two spells left. Yours, your kind of yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Understood. <laughs> The I'm just giving you credit. No, ninety nine percent of the time yours are cure wounds or just used for smites. So it's just, yeah. Well, exactly, so it's yeah. kind of like I'm not really super <laughs> concerned about it. Uh, I'm, it's not that I'm concerned about it. Any right. of them. I just want to like have a track. Yeah. Because um, I don't want to throw something at you. You know, if you guys have full spell load, I can. I'll, you know, I might throw not, six stone know, monsters at you. Well, you have, like, that, with, right. with, with him around, I, I'm not going to intentionally kill you. I'm not going to only three spell slots. Go out on your own either. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So you guys all go to sleep. 
Okay. Uh, where are we here, Tom? For like two days straight. Understood. <laughs> Understood. Sleeping. Understood. You are uh, going to sleep. Where are we here, Tom? God, he comes for us in our dream. Hmm. <laughs> well, we uh, don't have to sleep for that many days in order to get a long rest. We just have to not do anything. Yeah. We just have to. Don't strain ourselves. Yeah. Drifting off to sleep in your respective dreams, you find yourselves on a snowy path. Put your characters at the end of that path, hey. if you would. It is cold, lifting and uh, falling your feet in the deep snow. The sound of the wind is blowing through oh, the trees, and the crunch of your footsteps you is all you hear. See it. You oh, are in your dream. You are at full hit points, and you have all of your spells. Okay. okay. Ooh, sweet. Okay. So, Understood. Okay. And you wrote down the other one so I can go back, right? <laughs> yep, I wrote it down. I'm going to forget if I just I wrote it down. down. I wrote it down. That's why I asked you. Okay, in your sl- bundling up, you head out into this. You're, you're going down this, this path in the snow. You are all bundled up. The path you're following uh, just kind of meanders back and forth and back and forth. You're crossing some hills. Um, uh, empty of their fruits for the winter. The train is rolling tall hills, following uh, the tracks that remain. The snow is falling and blowing. Visibility is reduced, perhaps to 60 feet or something like that. Um, slowly, then quickening at pace, the snow-covered fields are replaced with thick pines that, that gratefully break the wind. Interspersed at various distances from your course, you see distant homes and wisps of smoke rising from them. You suspect they are woodsmen's or woodcutters' homes. Following trails, meandering back and forth at the base of the hills, you travel through the deepening snow for the better part of the day. Um, Borinth, roll a nature check, please. Ooh, natural 20. Let me see if I have anything else. Natural 20? Wow. Let me see if I have anything else to that. I don't think, I think it might be a minus. Does anybody remember leaving the keep? Minus one to that, so I don't know if it's a 19 or how that works. Sure, okay. You feel as though that you are, um, where are we here? You feel as though you are crossing part of the Badenweiler. Continuing on, the snow is deep. Some of the pines are bizarrely decorated for Christmas. <laughs> A voice calls out to you. Stop! Go no further. Turn around and leave. Klaus? Who's out there? <laughs> Who are you? Turn around <laughs> and leave. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, um, How did we get here? This feels like home. I, I'm not. I'm not going round. This is. This is my home. This is your home. It feels like my home. How did we get here? This is I far don't, from where we were. I just remember being here. I don't remember where we were. I will not turn around. This is my home. Turn around now. Your mm. last chance. You will have to turn me around. Fine. Roll initiative. <laughs> 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 okay, the bad guys, ooh, lousy, they roll a one. <laughs> All right. Put these guys in place of some of those trees. Oh my God. <laughs> on either side, two on either side of your path, and they're coming oh, up like to Like over deer or yeah, in here? Yeah, look right, like yeah, yeah one up in, to me, <laughs> yeah, two right. in front of Mattias, and, and one on either side up to of my level. Borinth and... <laughs> um, uh, there you go. That's good. Uh, a little bit farther <coughs> that way. They're spread out a little bit. Like that? Yeah, you sure. And one on uh, to the over there near Balder. Got an eighteen. And then 18. one over on the other side near Born. Okay. You, somebody's got to move that. Okay. Man. The bad guys have a one. <laughs> they rolled Somewhere really, up, up, really, really lousy. Anybody beat a sixteen? I got an eighteen. You got an eighteen. Are, are we all there? Yeah. For all yes. this. His dex is higher than my dex, I think. Okay. I must have missed something then. I guess you cut out when I went and you were explaining exactly what was going on. Um, then 18. 18 for Matthias. You went to sleep. We're all. We what's all your dex? Matthias, what's your dex? Uh, my 
my dex? Yeah. Um, my dex is uh, 16. Wow. Okay, so you go first, and then I go. And then okay. So you got an 18? <laughs> what is your What is your dex? Zero? Plus okay. Zero. Yeah. <laughs> 11. 11. This part's fun. The wizard with no dexterity. The DC. DC 8 <laughs> plus proficiency plus intelligence. That's good. For me, it's good. Yeah, it's As an good Eldritch Knight, yeah. it's good. Yeah, good. It's going to be very high spec. Uh, uh-huh. Okay, uh, Mattias, you are up. You see in front of you at, at least four, <laughs> you see multiple, multiple Christmas trees all around you. Bizarrely, the trees are decorated with with red balls and, and, and <coughs> white pearl strings of of. <laughs> Crap, so and they're carrying, and they're not even fully painted, guys, because I ran out of time. It's great. Sorry. It looks great. It looks great, Tom. Um, they uh, and they're lunging forward to attack you. You have an issue. What points do I have right now? You You're are at full. Long sir. rested. You are all rested. at full. Every you are. Everybody oh, okay. is at full. You're yeah. in a. You think well. You went to sleep, and you woke up, and here you all are on a trail. This is. Not as I expected to my dreams to be tonight. Three attacks, sir. <laughs> Attacking lit oak sentient trees. I suppose this isn't the strangest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> he makes his three attacks. Um, so plus 11, uh, dirty 20, a 24, and a 29. All three hit. <laughs> uh, yes, all three hit. Plus five, plus three. So that's a ten, a sixteen, and a fifteen. A ten, and in terms of damage, ten, yeah. fifteen, yes. sixteen, uh, ten, forty-one. 15, forty-one total. Okay, it is still up. Anything else, sir? Shouldn't be. No. Nope. That's it. Borinth, you are up, and I, you've got uh, not really directly in front of you. You can turn to your right, move five feet, and there's one there. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Uh, I will rage. Right. <laughs> Good thing I got my axe. <laughs> hey, Balder, I think you brought a hammer to an axe fight. <laughs> uh, oh, wow, 28. 30 to hit. The lightning oh, 30 hits. Down just as good. <laughs> Second attack. Natural 20. Natural 20. Critical hit here as your axe slams into the tree. Some okay, branches so. fall off. Some ornaments tumble onto the ground. So the damage for the first one is a 21 points of damage. For the first 21 Can you me a points of damage. Okay. Triple damage. Yay. Nice. Okay. Very nice. So. Ooh. 18. <coughs> So 20 points of damage. 20. Triple, so 60. And then my brutal critical, which is uh, another seven. So 67 on top of the 21 before? Yeah. Whoa, okay. <laughs> He's still up, but he um, is not looking good. And it's arm damage, like to drop something. I'm sure it's not holding You anything. see some ornaments fall <laughs> off of it. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, that's That's Borinth. Zyman, you are up. I will take a small step back. And I will sh- fire a scorching ray. <laughs> 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 of course, the trees are immune to fire. Damage. Natural 20. <laughs> Natural 20. <laughs> a 26 and a 19. Which one is this Ooh. one? Okay, uh, the one way over uh, there. Uh, <clears throat> You see the fire as it strikes, it seems to leap up into the branches and cause even more damage. That's 2d6 each. Uh, 19 hit also? Yeah, uh, yes it does. So all, all three hit. All three hit. Right. So, uh, the 19 does 5 points of damage. The other one does 10 points of damage. Is it fire uh, so damage? Nine, yeah, nine, 19 fire plus... Maximum, another 12, 31, 31 points of fire damage altogether, and a DC 10 con. Okay, he seems to take a lot more fire damage than 31 as the flames go <laughs> nice. ripping up through it. 
And he needs a DC what? A DC 10. DC 10. That ends the effect of being, he's knocked unconscious. He seems very, these things are stout. They're trees. He's got a really wickedly high con. He made a con save. Well, that's for, I'm sorry, that ends the effect after a long rest. The target is incapacitated, prone, drops anything it's holding, and fails all strength and dex saves. Okay. Knocked unconscious. Okay, so he's down. Anything else, Simon? Uh, no, that's it. Alderic, you are up. <clears throat> okay, I run up next to Boris, and uh, it's uh, plus nine, twelve. Twelve. You. What are you using? Raper. A rapier, he kind of jabs, it goes in between the branches, and it's kind of like poking in a, in a in a Christmas tree with a needle. <laughs> it, it doesn't seem to, to, to do anything. Uh, and the offhand dagger, there we go. Plus. Isn't all this stuff on one screen? <laughs> Nope. See a lot of swiping. <laughs> when are you gonna use the swiper? No swiping. I know swiping. No swiper. Twenty three. Twenty three hits. Your jab. You seem to go in. You can feel it kind of flex into this large tree trunk. Prune, prune the branch. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. Oh, it. Now it's a bonsai tree. No. It's two, four, seven. It's a splinter. <laughs> no! Some sap squares in your eyes. 15 points of damage plus 15 plus 4 is 19 points. 19. Piercing damage? Yes. Piercing. It doesn't feel like it's done that much damage to it. Understood. Anything else, sir? Uh, disengage. Okay. Boulder, you are up. All right. I think I'll, I think I'll engage with the one with Matias. We'll go here. Okay. I will cast Green Flame Blade, but just for pure flair, it will turn into lightning, which I wasn't expecting. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, that's different. And I will attack. Yes! You want that fire damage. A, <laughs> with a 31. A 31 hits. <laughs> nice. Just slightly. Feel the power now uh, huh? the of power. magical items. And we're doing five, He's waited so six, long to have a magical eight, weapon. Nine. Four years for you to get a magical damage. weapon. You've been waiting. Yeah, 16 on which one there, sir? Uh, the one next to Matias. He, the one has How many points of damage? 16. 16. Understood. Mm. And then we attack again with a 22. 22 hits. You feel like this. 11 damage. 11 points of damage. And then a 26. 26 hits. With another 11 <laughs> damage. Oh wait, this is bludgeoning, correct? Oh yeah. How much was the first one? 11. 11 and the second one? 11. 11. Okay. okay. Um, understood. It feels like it's kind of, you are doing damage to it, but it's like bashing branches with, with, a, uh, with a hammer. You are doing some damage to it though. And okay, a third hit. You did your third hit, right? Yeah, you did. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, it was... I only got damage from 17, two. 11, 11. Oh, 17, okay, 17, 11, 11. Understood. Because the first one was with the cantrip. Understood. Um, okay, understood. <laughs> Anything else, Balder? No. That's Balder. The opponents, let me just see. The the one is down. Um, okay, just hand, just, eh, hand them to me for right now. Okay, the, uh, uh, the one on one, two, three, four, five, six, he turns to uh, um, uh, Balder there. Balder the, let me see, he's got one, let me see which one he's going to do. Uh, You've been tinsel. Yeah, this star atop his head, it burns so brightly with this unholy-like light. <laughs> Ah, and, and, and roll a uh, DC 15 con save. And he will also attack you at the same time. He gets... Uh, he's got two attacks. An 18 misses and a 15 misses as well. And what'd you roll in your 14. save? 14. 14, okay, 14. Uh... 
You are blinded. This bright light just blinds you. Your eyes are burning in pain. Okay, that's that's all. And the two he tries clawing away at you at the same time. The one off to your left. Uh, just turn him. Looking at uh, actually, run him forward. Just run him straight forward toward uh, the evil people in the rear. Uh, uh, you get an attack of opportunity of item, I think, there. <laughs> Balder, do Balder. I? Balder. Actually, he would stop at you, wouldn't he? If I if hit. he hits him. If oh, okay. Ro- roll away. Yeah, he stops there. <laughs> okay, he stops. Okay, and roll your damage on him, too. 14. 14. <laughs> 14 uh, to hit or 14 damage? Oh, wait, no, 14 points damage. Okay. Understood. With your hammer. 23 to hit. <laughs> Understood. And then he's going to turn on you, and what will he do on you? He will do number five. One of these ornaments. There's a number two. Uh, nah. <laughs> no, it, 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 this tinsel whip comes off of him. This, this large whip like thing and slashes away at you. And he swings away with it. You got tinsel. Whipped. And uh, <laughs> dirty twenty. Whoosh, uh, roll a DC fifteen strength save, sir. And you take. It doesn't, uh, hit. It doesn't hit. It doesn't dirty hit. Dirty doesn't hit. Dirty twenty. Oh, a dirty twenty. Oh, it missed you. Okay, good point. Okay. It just it just wraps around my arm and I Whoosh, pull it. Yeah. From, pull it from. Awesome. Okay, <laughs> and the other two. He, the other one. He's got a twenty-eight with just one of his claws and a fourteen. That's a, a miss. So you take. Uh, More blind than two. Uh, you take uh, 16 <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage, sir. Who are you talking to? A little blind. Uh, oh, okay. okay. 16 points of bludgeoning. On Borinth over there, the one on you, he, uh, what does he do? He's, he sits there and he throws his arms back and he shakes violently. And all of these needles come hurtling off of him. And uh, actually, they're going to go in a template and strike toward Alderic and... And um, what's his face in the rear as well? Diamond. Yeah. What's uh, his face? Get what's his, his face? face? Simon. <laughs> Aldrich and Simon. You Get see him. all of these needles come flying off of them. The three of you roll a DC 15 deck save. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> anybody who s- <laughs> any, anybody who failed to take a, uh, 30 points of damage. Anybody who saved oh take God. 15 <laughs> piercing damage. <laughs> I rolled an 18. 30, 30, 15. Okay, you say 15 piercings. Tiny pine needles. That's the opponent's. Mattias, you are back up. You have uh, one right in front of you. This giant Christmas tree who just blinded Balder. All right. You okay, dude? Yes, I should. Yeah. Long days. Slash away. Yep. Three attacks, sir. It's okay. 12, 17, and 18, plus 11 for each, so 23, 28, and 29. Awesome. You all three hit your sword, cutting through it. And then 18 plus 11, 24, plus 11, 36 damage. 36 points of damage. It is... Hanging on, surprisingly. Anything else? Not right now. But oh. remember, anyone within a hex within a, within a hex radius of me has the advantage of my protection. Thanks. Okay, I'm not going to remember that. That's on you, and that's Balder. He's right next to yeah. you. That would have okay. helped you before. Okay, so. Okay. Well, cancel that is blind. Well, yeah. What's done is done. What's done is done. You gotta remember to tell us that stuff, yeah, Maddie. Yeah. I mean, we're getting attacked too. I, I can't remember your abilities, guys. Okay. Uh, Borinth, you are up. Uh, okay, I'm gonna chop away at the tree that just stabbed me with all the ornaments. If you did, we wouldn't have to be here. Uh, what? Well, if you did, we wouldn't have to be here. You could just move all the minis around. <laughs> By yourself. Uh, 29 to hit the first one. 29 hits. 21 to hit the second. 21 hits. And then some damage the first. 18. 20 points of damage the first one. 20 points. He's barely old enough. And then 15 points of damage the second one. This tree just collapses. Timber! 
And as he collapses, you see what some, a present seems to roll out from underneath him, as it did from the other one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got a present. Okay. A- anything else, Borinth? Uh, I'll I'll use my movement to run over next to Balder. Zyman, to block you're that up. guy. Yep. Right in there. I'll block. I'll block all the right, path. All right. That that guy that shot all the needles at me. I will upcast he's, scorching rain. He's, oh, he's dead. He's down. Oh. That was the one. There's that one right in front of me. Oh yeah. There. Well, that, that's yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. I understood. I that one. That, was the one that, yeah, I that, that one's tried to <laughs> lash away with the with the, this tinsel lash. Yeah. Twenty-two, a twenty-seven, a natural twenty, another twenty-four. Unload it. And uh, Below the magic load. Fifteen. <laughs> Does a fifteen hit? Uh, fifteen just hits. <laughs> I mean, they're trees. And a okay. Yes, they're trees. They're not uh, <laughs> armored knights. They're not bouncing back and forth. They're not. Uh, they're not armored knights. So that's. Uh, Forty-four points of fire damage. Forty-four points of fire damage, um, and it seems to be even more intense than that. Um, uh, a lot. You see this whole tree just get engulfed in flames, and it just like most of the needles burn off instantaneously. I hope the cat wasn't in there. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Simon? Okay, uh, Aldrich, you are up. <coughs> Jabbing away stabbing, with your stabbing. rapier. Stab, stab with the rapier. <laughs> nice. Um, They're not that hard to hit. Yeah. Um, four, well, when you go four, like this. <laughs> yeah. Four plus 13 does not hit, correct? 13. 13. 13 total? Yeah. 13 total. Does, you feel it go in, it hits the tree, but it doesn't do any damage. It just like kind of pokes into the branches. Back this way. Understood. That's it for you. Is that it? Okay, Balder, you are you up. Second attempt. Oh. Hey, you're off him. He used his bonus action to disengage. Yeah. Oh, we did that before. Oh. oh. Um... I guess I'll keep going with the one that's uh, Matias. I'll stay with the one I'm Okay, to. understood. You're blind. That's why. Oh. That's why. <laughs> yes, you're blinded. Swinging away blindly. All right, let's try it. Well, there goes the natural 20, but I do get a 26. <laughs> it's a natural 20. <laughs> well, okay. Yeah. Well, because you're at disadvantage? I would assume. Yes, yeah. yes, you're blind. Yeah, right. Right. So, yep, understood. So, 26 to hit him. Let's do the fire damage first. Two eights, so 16 fire damage plus 14 regular damage. Uh, so what's the total? How much fire? 16 fire and 14 regular. Uh, you see the tree just go up in flames. <laughs> <laughs> It just like all the branches and stuff sort of collapse underneath it as it falls down. Uh, anything else? And you see a present fall out from underneath it. Anything else? <laughs> um, do I have to do anything to try to become unblinded, or it's just an effect that lasts a while? I think it just lasts a while. Oh. Uh, let me just look here. Uh, Am I able to kind of feel out the burnt one next to me and attack him, or just completely burnt? Oh, you get a save at the end of each of your rounds. My bad. So at the end of your round, go ahead and make another save. All right. Oh, my phone's dead. I was gonna All right, that's better. 26. 26, you are no longer blinded. Okay. Okay, is anything else, Balder? That's it. The opponents, there's this one left. Um, is he still on fire? <laughs> uh, my yes, vi- he my is vision still on comes fire. Back to a completely burnt up tree <laughs> that's trying to attack me. <laughs> uh, what, what is that? He has three people in front of him. He's going to take his tinsel and he's going to try and whip all three of you. Whoosh, whoosh, with it. Um, <laughs> huh? Let me see. He's got big strikes away at Matthias. No chance. And it goes through to 
uh, Balder, uh, 26 Balder. Oh, just hits. Just hits, <laughs> and a natural one fumble when oh, he no. finally gets to Boren. Oh, yes. Okay, but it does strike I grab it. <laughs> You've got it in your hand. He's exhausted. I don't know how a tree can be exhausted, but he needs to make a 15, DC 15. He failed. Oh, no, he succeeds. He made his DC 15 otherwise become more exhausted. So he's exhausted. He, he's <laughs> more exhausted. A disadvantage on any <laughs> skill checks. Nobody put sugar water okay. in his bowl. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Mattias, he missed. Uh, Boulder, make a DC 15 strength save. Uh... And uh, and you take uh, uh, 15, 15 points of bludgeoning damage, and you roll a fifteen. Yeah. Its thing starts to wrap around you, and you manage to break free of the tinsel as it tries to wrap around you. Um, Often the everybody he wasn't, he wasn't using a roll a uh, perception check. <laughs> Ooh, natural twenty. So perceptive. Thirteen. Perception. Twelve. Is it fourteen? So, so I got twenty one total. Twenty and what'd you roll? Thirteen. Thirteen. What'd you roll, uh, Mattias? Yeah, twenty's no. Well we'll 20. get back to you. Uh, I'm rolling it. Um it, I got a twelve. Uh, a twelve. Okay. Ball uh Borans, while you're sitting there holding on to this thing. Far in the distance, past it, on the trail, you see this this creature with large horns holding this, like, bale of, of wicker in its hands, and it's got yellow eyes, and it's covered with fur from head to toe, and he turns and he growls, and he looks at you, and he turns and heads off down the trail the other way. How far is he from me? He like, roll an investigation chip. <laughs> He's got up from all the way down there. 18? 18. You're thinking he's about 90 feet down the road. He's going to report to the big man. You're on the naughty list. Okay. Uh, that that was the opponents. We're at the top of the round. Mattias, you are up. You have uh, you have to move, kind of turn slightly to your right and move ahead five feet in order to attack it. Kill if you train. want to. Uh, I'll do so. Okay. Okay, and my three attacks, I got a, a dirty 20, a 26, and a 27. All hit. Whoosh. Whoosh. Your sword is cutting through them. And my damage rolls. Uh, five, six, 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 seven, 13, 18, uh, plus... 15 is 33. 40, 46. Plus 9 is 42. 42. 42 points of damage total? Yep. All time. Whoosh! The tree, these limbs come collapsing off of it, exposing the white pine inside. Sap spews forth like blood from it, and it collapses. <laughs> Whoosh! And the tree collapses there. Is you guys, the creature are, behind us or in front of us? Further down He's, the path. Yeah. You turn and path. look, you don't yeah. see him right now. Yeah. But, but he, I he saw further. him this did, way. Yes, yeah. you did. Okay. Okay. Yes, you did. I would like to pick up my present. You see on the ground. Uh, <laughs> he gave me a gift. Yeah. When I killed you him. see three present oh, spell soul. on the ground. Um, <laughs> you guys pick them up. Yeah, of course. Okay, sure. one is a brown bag tied with a red ribbon. Mm. One is a, a a bundle of what looks like uh, four bolts tied with a red ribbon. And one is a green bag tied with a gold ribbon. So with what I just saw down the road in our people's history, you don't take presents from him. I'm just saying. If that's who I think it was, you don't take presents from him. Well, they were in his presents. He, these are his, <laughs> these are his. I will open the green one with the I'm gold. I'm going to take a step back away from him. <laughs> <laughs> you open the green bag with a gold ribbon. You look inside. Yes? Sure. You look inside, you see it smells like 
chestnuts mm. roasting oh, on an know. open fire. Mm. Nice. Mm. Jack Frost. Mm. <laughs> at your nose. Uh, it smells like roasting chestnuts. Inside, you see four large roasting ch chestnuts. They feel if you the bag feels very very warm, and you feel, you pick them up, and you just have a sense immediately. If I throw this chestnut, it is going to cause fire damage. All right, I will throw them over my back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll open the brown bag. Grenades. The brown Little bag. Grenades. The brown bag has a red ribbon. Inside, you look Crushing and you see cool. it looks like a mound of gold. Oh. Do you examine the gold? Yes, I examine it. You examine the gold. the gold closely and you realize that they're actually chocolate. You can but, <laughs> okay. Well, and what do you do with it? Would we know what chocolate is? Well, yes, we're in Germany. Well, you're, <laughs> you're also in a dream. <laughs> shush, shush. This is a dream. <laughs> chocolate has always been discovered. Okay, it's white chocolate. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be it would die. Okay, it's a confectionery. Alright, now I have to Google it. When was chocolate invented? It was discovered. After we okay, so um, it appears to be chocolate. Yes. How do we know it's um, Bring it up here. Smell it. Smells like chocolate. So now I gotta figure out when. Eat it. Germany break it open. Had chocolate. You take a little. You'll break one open. <laughs> yeah. Looks like chocolate. Yes, it looks like chocolate. I'll give it a nibble. Okay. Do you? Uh, are you down any hit points? Uh, yes. Okay. Do you eat one, one or? or do you eat part of one, or what do you do? I'll take a bite of one. You take a bite of one. You feel slightly better. Oh, I'll take a little more. Finish you it. Take yes, a little more, eat. and you feel <laughs> even more better. I'll, I'll eat the whole piece. You eat the whole piece. You get a hit point back. A hit point. How many pieces of chocolate are in that bag? You 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 spread them out and start to count them. Yes. Oh, oh no, I'm just saying to him. That's up to him. You spread them out and count them. Mm -hmm. You count five hundred gold pieces. Five hundred gold pieces of chocolate. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right. A yeah. Lot of chocolate. <laughs> I'm, ready for, I'm ready for a stomachache. <laughs> Very good. Minus one now. Minus one. Just remember, you ate one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> If it comes uh, up again, I suppose I will open the remaining presents since the remaining is present. adverse. I'm to not. No, I'm not doing it. It is a bundle of bolts. There's one other pet present that fell. It is a bundle of bolts. One is blue, one is green, one is uh, silver, and one is gold. I did not look like crossbow this. bolts. What bolts? Like metal bolts? Like crossbow bolts. Bolt. Oh, crossbow bolts. Want some chocolate? Maybe later. <laughs> you intuitively know <laughs> that the blue one is plus one to hit and plus one to damage and leaves a blue trail as it flies through the air. Um, the red, the green one, uh, these are single use bolts. The green one is plus two to hit and plus two to damage and leaves a green trail as it flies through the air. The silver one is plus three to hit and plus three to damage and leaves a silver trail as it flies through the air. And the last is gold. Plus four to hit and plus four to damage and leaves a gold trail as it flies Ooh. through the air. Nice. One, two, three, and four. I don't think you need to write it. Yeah, I don't nice. know if we would do <laughs> One, two, three, and four. <laughs> that was a, it was a, a green and gold. It was a mixed bag of Googling. I don't even have a crossbow. Blue. I know how to use one, but I don't have one. <laughs> Up to four thousand years ago, there were traces of it. Let's head down this road. Let's go get that. Let's go. Let's go see that guy that just attacked us down the road. I'm pretty sure these were his minions. You saw somebody else? Yeah. There was like a demon gut looking guy down Why the road. You say so before? Big horns. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna start down gonna just dash down. One the road. of each bolt? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm booking it down the road. Running through the woods. woods. Very cool. Does anybody want chocolate before we leave? It kind of makes you feel warm and fuzzy and I will try it. How many, you how many you want? Yeah. Uh, you get one hit point Take back. Ten. Take ten. Just remember that you ate one. One. And let me know if you eat more. It is chocolate. Let's go get him. Okay, you continue. You go, go get him. I saw him. I know who that is. I'll leave, I'll leave a couple more while we run through the woods. This is good stuff. There's <laughs> thick snow as you continue down the trail. Uh, you continue. Uh, you round. Uh, you continue running down the trail, and you get slightly further ahead. It is snowing, and the snow is blowing. Um, just, uh, just push these trees like 
There we go. That's good for right now. That's good enough. Hmm? What is this? No Christmas village? <laughs> bah humbug. Here, here. here, minus the guys. Minus the evilness of the. Put some Christmas trees in people's houses. <laughs> just, yeah. They're just around. Yeah, exactly. They're all just all over the place. Look, Aldrich, plenty of roofs for you to climb upon. There you go. <laughs> I don't even know where the door is. Outhouses to explore. <laughs> I still have this wooden chair that we took from that outhouse. Carry it around all day. Just in case you need to take a seat. <laughs> I get tired easily. <laughs> you should have smashed class with it. WWE style. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I wake up from this dream, perhaps. You continue running through. It is snowing. Visibility is about 60 feet. Darkness is starting to descend. You near the edge of a village. As you do, you see a very stiff figure uh, running. He seems to be trying to run away from the village itself. <laughs> um, hit, hit with locked knees, the figure appears to be chased by something. Despite the descending uh, darkness and the following falling snow, it's difficult to discern uh, that it is a man mm, of sorts. Based on his colorful outfit, you suspect that perhaps he's a soldier. He turns to his pursuers and he swings a halberd. You are about 60 feet away from him. The snow is falling and blowing, and though and you can occasionally make out swirling masses of white, it is nigh impossible to discern what is attacking him. What are you doing? Running forward. You run forward. Mm -hmm. Everybody Charging else? Charging on, yeah. You charge forward. Roll initiative. Let's roll a new initiative here. Woohoo! I rolled the same. Very uh, 20. Uh, Six. 17. 17. The bad guys have a 15. 15. 15. What's your dex again? Well, it's a good thing we're not near here. Uh, oh, I go first. 16. What is, the, what is the bad guy's dex? Uh, bad guy's dex is uh, minus two. Okay. It's a so Maddie has to go now. before them. Uh, 20, 20, 18. Uh, <laughs> nice. I feel like we've seen these. Have we seen these before? Not an 18. Not Mark, anybody got, did anybody get did Mark, did Mark have, well, did Mark have similar... 18, and now it's in the 20 now. Uh, hey, Ryan. Oh, did Mark have similar snowmen when we did his... Oh, no, wait. Was that Brad? Mark was good, though. Who's Christmas uh, Carol? I, we, we both had sixes. I go first. I don't think he had those. They look so familiar. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Matthias, no, no, what, what was your initiative, Matthias? That's what's inside the Christmas trees. Matthias, what'd you yeah. roll for a Nesh? I. 15. 15. 15. You pulled a 15. I just said that. Yeah, 15. We usually have the same as the, as the uh, opponents, but Matthias will go first because he's higher decks. I had a 17. 17. Well, it's a good thing we all do fire day. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. You know. You know what? We're actually. I this is probably. Uh, I hate to do this. Probably a good place to pause, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Probably a good place yes. to pause. Um, we got. I hope I never take away your agency. So I don't. I mean, obviously, when things uh, went in that other direction, I kind of knew that you were li possibly doing that at the beginning, uh, going to go pursuing a car trip, which is mm -hmm. hundred percent cool. Uh, you guys do whatever you want, uh, and I will adjust fire. Um, so I kind of knew, that's why all the dungeon stuff was out there. I thought that that was a possibility. I wasn't sure. So does anybody have any objection to continuing on this current adventure? I know that Christmas is kind of over. No, uh, it's only that. two we weeks. We're back in two weeks. Okay, okay, it's okay. okay. I don't want you to feel like it's like, huh? I'll kill okay. snowmen all winter <laughs> long. Okay, 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 cool. It's a okay, so we will continue that. Yeah, right. Let's, uh, everybody have a good time tonight? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Awesome. Um, Mattias, let's start with you. What was your highlight, okay. sir? Actually, it was the whole, it was everything associated with us searching, to be perfectly honest. Um, I feel like that's going to be something that actually gets, has a bit of an impact on all of the characters for a little while, and I think that that's something that um, hasn't really been happening that much. Uh, and I think that it's good that it's good that something is happening that forces all of them to really um, examine what's happened. What's happened? 
Okay, very cool. I appreciate it. Thank you for being here. I, I knew you had some issues that you had to work through. I, I hope they got all resolved. Um, they were. They okay, were. good. 1,000 experience points, sir. Thank you. 1,000. Brian, what, did you have a good time? Yeah, of course. Always do. What was your Always. highlight? Uh, singing the Health Fest song. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be more to come. We'll get better. We'll that get better. was fun. You can rewrite like it. it if you, if oh, you yeah. hate it. No, I That's like fine. it as is. I'm good with it. That was fun. It was a lot like, of fun. I was, was like, do we have temporary hit points in our dream? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Every, you do. Oh, we uh, do. Sure, sure. Um, everyone just sure, yeah, whatever coming together to and have. having a good time. and Yeah, I think it's, yeah, that's my highlight. Cool. Um, 1,000 experience points, sir. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Plus 100 for the... Oh, um, right. The dream you sent me. Yeah. And if anybody else wants to, because I haven't used them yet, if you want to send me a dream, I got one from yourself and from uh, Jess, so I do appreciate it. Um, it's just something else I'm mm -hmm. machinating about. Joe, uh, did you have a good time? Excellent time. Great to be rolling again. Been far too long. Good. I'm <laughs> glad. I'm glad. What was your highlight? Uh, I mean, listen, 64 damage on a stone wolfy thing. That was pretty got impressive. Highlight, you know? <laughs> Especially since I rolled trash the whole evening. Um, it's just dice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, you know, looking forward to uh, settling the score with Klaus. <laughs> got to be honest with you. <laughs> you, got, you are one-minded. So one okay. Uh, uh, 1,000, ex oh, uh, I'm sorry, not 1,000, 2,000 experience points with your level Ooh. difference bonus. Correct? You, you are no. level 9, correct? Yes. 2,000 experience points, sir. Um, Ryan, did you have a good time? Of course, always. What was your highlight? Ah, oh, there really wasn't much to choose from this time. I mean, there was only seven pages of this amazing hammer yeah. that I can't wait to uh, read a little bit more on. <laughs> but I am so excited to finally have this thing. Yeah, it's I'm been excited forever. for you. I'm very excited for you. But yes, I can tell it is awesome. how happy you are. There's some other interesting things woven in there too. Yes. I hope you. I hope they're interesting. I, I want to look. Yeah, at yeah. That. I, I want to look dig. at that key. When we get back to the real world, I got to mm -hmm. start digging into the key is something. <laughs> the story and key. the other stuff that he has. Yes, I wrote it in both Norse and in oh, well, uh, English. I you think speak Norse. So. If we can, if we can just discuss the game right now, I think it has something to do with. Remember the story and the, oh, the troll with the cat. Yeah, I think the I kid. I, I think I saw the church on the. Yeah, and and when with the kid, right? Didn't it have some, didn't that story have something to do with the kid? Something knowing the name of the yeah, you have to know the, I name, have it. the name of the troll for the for the. I have I'm the gist of it the written down because he was trying to like save his kid. Hmm. He had to give the. You first happen to born. have a story there in front of you. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, what's the name of the story? Hmm. It is Saint Olaf and the troll. Which which Saint. way do we go? Do we go to France? Do we go to Frozen? We're going to, we're going to Disney. We're going to Disney. <laughs> 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 we're going to Disneyland. <laughs> yeah, I have to read. I'll have to read this and compare it to what I wrote down last time. Yeah. But I have like the synopsis here and then I have this. Yeah, I think they're they're all connected. Oh, but, the troll uh -huh. that built the church or something like that we have? Yeah, was that it was a guy, that? he made a bargain with the troll. A trail in Norway, true king. King. This is a piece temple, of the weapon that we need, I believe. The temple Nidoros Cathedral built 300 years ago. I think it has something to do with yeah. a piece of the weapon that we Grand need. Grand Cathedral standing there. Yeah. I'll have to read through it, but yes, I have yeah, more information it, on it. It's had, Olaf. That was it had something to do with the piece of the weapon that we're trying to build. I, from what I remember, I thought. I, I can't remember. I thought, I thought that was, like was all a power source. The, the, the Teutons that were robbing everything was kind of in that direction. The troll yeah. child. I don't remember why the troll story even came up in the first place. It was all from the vampire that you saw in the pub that we talked to. Oh, what no, did he tell troll. us? It was in Trondheim? He gave us like... Why? About what, for what purpose was the whole troll story? Uh, I forget what the... So I forget ago. what the line... Sorry, of, I, I like forget what the line ago. of questioning was that brought it about. Yeah, I thought it had but to do with his I'm, weapon that I'm, we're I'm, trying to put together I'm to kill sure the vampires. That he gave us that... that I lead. think it has to do with his weapon. And the lead of the, the Teutons that are taking the magic weapon, magic items, and taking their power mm -hmm. away. Secu secularizing the yeah. area. The troll, the troll was the potential yeah. one who could destroy the amulet. Oh, yes. that's, that's right. That's what it was. That's we what it was. And, not the, and the troll's son is who we're after. Not the troll that this guy who helped uh -huh. build the church. Yes. Yeah. And then we need to know that troll's son's name. Yeah, we got so that to we learn. Can, yes. yes. So okay. we can force him to destroy the Which amulet. is clearly now Olaf. But, you know. <laughs> the Olaf, is the, Olaf is the other guy. Oh, okay. One thousand yeah, yeah. experience points, Ryan. 
Olaf is the other guy, the saint. Sorry, Tom, I didn't that's mean to hijack no, no, that's all good. I like talking Please. about this stuff right when we're, it's fresh in our minds. 1,000 experience points. Zyman, Jess, did you have a good time? Absolutely. What was your highlight? Um, I, I liked how we got lost searching for Karcha. It, it, it added to the uh, the suspense and the the eagerness that we had to to try to I find think it was her, very cool that we weren't we weren't mm -hmm. making accurate decisions as we were going through because we mm -hmm. were just trying to find her so we we didn't and we got into trouble and we got out but and uh yeah, emoliating uh christmas trees <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, thank you for the hook. thank course. you for the log thank you for the uh the dream mm -hmm. uh i appreciate it uh uh, and you're level 10. I know I screwed up my conversation. Got <laughs> my conversation with you. Um, you got uh, me so excited. Uh, uh, 2,100 <laughs> experience points. Oh, sorry, guys. I had a good time. I'm sorry there was such a delay since we got together. Yeah. I'm actually kind of thrilled that you... Nice I, I hope everybody's enjoying this. I Obviously, this will be a fun little thing. It's arguably not tied to anything else, but it's just, <laughs> just, just pure fun. Uh, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's cool. Yeah. So thank you very much. Saint uh, guys, Olaf I do appreciate here. it. St. <laughs> Olaf. St. Olaf. Technology. It always seems to uh, fail me right when I want it to, to work. There we are. Here we go. Um, okay, guys. Uh, thank you for watching uh, Seven Sided Eyes Carpathian Adventure. Again, we would like to thank Sirenscape for the use of their audio sound effects. That's www.syrinsape.com. Thank you, artist Yenu and Suki Noir, for the terrific character art. There's a new one there, uh, uh, right there, from artist uh, 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 Suki Noir. Thank you, Suki Noir. Please patronize them by the at symbol Yenu mm -hmm. Draws on Instagram. That may be somebody we run into. And um, on, so. on Instagram, <laughs> the at symbol Yenu on Tumblr and Twitter. And, or, or we were supposed to have run into tonight. <laughs> That's the case, maybe. <laughs> and, and patronize Silky Noir on DeviantArt. Please comment in the Twitch chat room on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and on YouTube. While we do this strictly for fun, please let us know how we might improve the stream. Lastly, please follow us on Twitch and on Instagram. Please like on Facebook and on YouTube. And please do subscribe it. on YouTube. Do it now. Yeah. yeah. I listen, we're a small channel. We're at 298. 298, are we? Mm -hmm. Ooh, we grew uh, the three in the past oh, yeah. couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, as we leave you, indulge my periodic diatribe. In a recent form, a poster asked if rules lawyering can ever be a good thing, quote unquote, quote, good un thing, unquote. The original poster, <laughs> why, why is that the answer is an immediate no? The, the, the original <laughs> poster <laughs> went on to say that he considered himself a self-proclaimed <laughs> rules lawyer and doesn't hesitate to call someone out when misusing or misinterpreting a rule, DM or player. The player had just quit a game because despite his attempts to correct other <laughs> Others' interpretations of the rules, the DM didn't want to pause the game to get clarification. I will answer the question he asked. However, before I do, please indulge me. When a rule is clear-cut and or the DM asks for an interpretation, I think assistance can be welcome. That said, rules sometimes create synergies that lend themselves to shades of gray, if you will. Uh, not, not 50 but you know what I mean. <laughs> Jeremy Crawford wouldn't tweet rule interpretations if they didn't. Facebook 5e raw, rules as written, wouldn't exist if there were not. How these shades of gray are addressed depends on the dungeon master. Some DMs like to pause and break out the books. Some DMs accept unsolicited input from their players. Others prefer to solicit player interpretations. Still others prefer to make their own rulings. Me. I loathe slowing down the game, so I genuinely try never to pick up a rule book during a session. While I'm certainly no expert, I make mistakes. I make, make several mistakes tonight. I forget about, uh, what's it, Warcaster spell, all the time. The spell Sniper, yeah. Spell Sniper, I forget yeah. about them all the time. I make mistakes, but I, I, I don't want to pause sniper. the game <laughs> to pull out a book to clarify something. I, to me, it's just not worth it. The role play is far more valuable, but, but that's me. Okay. While I'm certainly no expert on the rules, I've been playing Dungeons and Dragons for, hold your breath, 43 <laughs> years. So I get the gist of it. Just, you know, I understand the concept. Nonetheless, I make mistakes. I forget stuff. I'm human. With that, 
and on occasion, if something does come up, I may defer to the player in question. Alternatively, I may rule with my gut. How I do this during the game varies, and it's up to me as the DM at that moment. During a session, when genuinely in doubt, I try to lean toward what is most beneficial toward the player. That's just my technique. However, I've made mistakes both ways. I'm sufficiently humble to admit my mistakes. Yes, I was wrong. Whichever I do, once I've made up my decision at the table, it's done. Arguments by rules lawyers are not appreciated, not appropriate, nor welcome. At that moment, it's time to move on with the game. After a session, I will do research. I really do. I reread the original rule. I will check errata. I will look for clarifications from the lead game designer, Jeremy Crawford. Finally, I may solicit interpretations or opinions of disinterested DMs that I respect. Mm -hmm. Whatever I discover, I will advise my group of the clarified interpretation. Thank you, Brian. I appreciate it. Try to mute. <laughs> I will advise I worked, yeah. my group of the clarified interpretation in our private Discord. And I will add it to our rule interpretations page on our public meetup group. Cutting to the chase. The title Rules Lawyer itself is pejorative. <laughs> Cutting to the chase. The title Rules Lawyer itself is pejorative. There's an implied negativity to it. So I would argue, and rightfully so, rules lawyers have an agenda. Hence the inclusion of the second word in the title, lawyer. They are arguing a case. Their interpretation of the rules might be right, it might be wrong, but it really doesn't matter. Much like an attorney who is charged with defending a position, the rules lawyer has selected a side and decided to defend it. Unlike an attorney, the rules lawyer may be pu putting forth an argument that may be welcome or may not be welcome at that moment. As a sidebar, there is a type of rules lawyer that I call the fan. I call them that because this is the player that even when there is not a question by the players at the table, nor the DM as to what is going on, or if it is it within the rules, they feel that it is appropriate to jump up in the air and say, the rules say you can do blah, 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 blah. Or the rules say you can't do this. Or you can't do that. Quote, unquote. I recently played in a game with a player like this. It was not a great experience. <laughs> rules is written, the DM is the final arbiter of the rules, not the rules lawyer. This is clearly spelled out in the Dungeon Master's Guide. Sure, DM should try to rule fairly and consistently, but it is the interpretation of the rules is up to the DM's purview. It is the DM's agency, if you will. When I'm a player at someone else's table, I hope to have agency over my character and the DM has agency over their world and the rules. As such, if a question comes up regarding a rule and I have not been asked for my opinion, I bite my lip and I keep my mouth shut. I believe that it is the DM's purview to pursue the answer in the manner they desire. If the DM wants to solicit an opinion from the table, then they'll do so. In the end, my unwritten contract with my players is that I will endeavor to never take away their agency. I will try. I will try to rule consistently and fairly, and I will create a world that is grounded in the setting I have created. Their contract with me is that they will accept my premise of my world and they will end my interpretation of the rules. If they choose, if they choose not to, they can, as the player described above did, vote with their feet. So, don't know what the answer to my original question was? Can a rules lawyering ever be a good thing? Unsolicited? No. If it is solicited by the DM, then it's not rules lawyering. I will end my diatribe there. It's Always remember, <laughs> in the Carpathian Adventure, the journey is the destination. And we will continue the journey in two weeks. So for now, thank you for watching. Roll a seven-sided die, and have a good night. <laughs>